Let's get ready to rumble! Nothing, boy! You're finished already! Look at me! Look at me! You know you're done! You are! Ali! عليك. الزنا لا يحرم لو واحد زنى بامرأة وحملت منه يقول لك ان هذا الماء غير محرم يعني ايه غير محرم يعني دي مش بنته يعني ايه برضه مش فاهم يا عم الشيخ يعني هل يجوز له نكاحها قال لك اي اتجوزها عادي دي بنته قال لك مين اللي قال بنته هي لا بنته لا شرعا ولا شيء ما مش بنته لن تنسب له اصلا ولما واحد يزني بواحدة ويخلف منها بنت فكتب باسمه باسم الزاني لا ابدا ابدا يبقى مش بنته يعني قتل المرتد مو عشان يصير مسلم المرتد مرتكب لجرم مثل الزاني الزاني اذا كان محصنا يرجم اذا كان غير محصن يجلد السارق اذا اجتمعت شروط قطع اليد قطعت يده القاتل يقتل فهذه عقوبات هذه عقوبات لهؤلاء العمل الذي قاموا به ومنها المرتد إذا ارتد يقتل إذا تاب من الردة يترك إن هو يعاقب على هذا الفعل أن فيه استهتار بهذا الدين فيعاقب على هذا العمل كما لو سب الرسول أو سب الله جل وعلا أو كذا فإنه يقتل لهذا الفعل وليس لأجل أن نغصبه على الإسلام الإسلام يعني لا يحتاج ولا يريد يعني مرتزقة يعني صير مسلم ولا ذبحناك ولكن لا لا ما نريد مرتزقة الكف... أول شيء السبي لا يكون إلا الكفار لا يجوز سبي مؤمن يعني لا يجوز يكون قتال بين مسلمين مثلا لأي سبب من الأسباب الفتن التي تحدث يكون قتال بين المسلمين لا يجوز السبي أبدا السبي لا يكون إلا الكافر لا يسبى المسلم أبدا وإنما يسبى الكافر وأنا أرجو أن الإنسان لا يخجل من دينه ويقول لا هذا قبل والإسلام لا يدعو إلى هذا لا كن, كن قويا في دينك أظهر دينك نعم هذا ديني نعم الذي لا يرضى أن يعبد الله تبارك وتعالى فإنه يستعبد أو يدفع الجزية أو يدخل في الإسلام أو يقاتل ها هذه الأحوال الأربعة أبدا لا يوجد حال خامس لذا أول ما يدعى الإنسان يدعى الإسلام يقول أعبد أعبد الله تبارك وتعالى الله خلقك لتعبده فإذا قال لا أريد أن أعبد الله تبارك نقول تعيش في أرض الله ولا تعبده ادفع الجزية نقول ولن أدفع الجزية فإذا رفض أن يعبد الله ورفض أن يدفع الجزية نقول له إذا ما لنا معك إلا القتال فنقاتله لأجل هذا فإن قتلناه فهو في النار وإن أسرناه فهو من السبي يصير عبدا رغما عنه لما رفض أن يكون عبدا مكرما باختياره فسيكون عبدا حقيرا بدون اختياره هكذا هو الأمر بالنسبة للذين لا يعبدون الله تبارك وهؤلاء يعني لا تشفقوا عليهم هؤلاء كفار هؤلاء يرفضون أن يعبدوا الله تبارك وتعالى يرفضون أمر الله جل وعلا يعادون الله يسبون الله جل وعلا فالإنسان لا تأخذه الشفقة على أعداء الله على ناس هم معتدون And you have no idea how much I hope Allah is going to curse you to the rest of your life Nothing boy, you're finished already Look at me, look at me, you know you're done You are Ali Ali Wallahi, every single land, every single country, Wallahi, with all their governments and all their military force and all their might and all their science and all their money and all their know-how, all with the exception of none, every country, every tree, every grain of sand, every mountain, every river, every ocean, every ocean, Wallahi, Every star, every sun, every moon, every single planet, every single angel, the billions and billions and
and billions of angels, all of them, with the exception of none, Mikael, Jibrail, Israfil, all the first heaven, the second heaven, the third heaven, the fourth heaven, the fifth heaven, the sixth heaven, the seventh heaven, the ocean above it, the eight that carry the flag of Allah, the hearts of Allah, all are dead, all are dead. Oh. Ali. Ali. Hello guys, we are live on air. Welcome everybody. God bless you. Dude, the water, man. Guys, they gave him a glass of water. Watch out, man. You're going to drop that water, man. That precious water, man. Guy, guy has issues, man. Mental issues, man. Emma says, what is this madness? Well, I don't know, man. It's Islam. Yeah, that's what Islam does to you. Anyway, guys, welcome. Let me say hi to our admins. Hello, David Rai. We are blessed. iPhone 3G. Riaz Qureshi. Phil Horeira. Longest of Jerusalem. TM Crosspose. Welcome, everybody. Phyllis. How are you, Phyllis? Majestic Rainmaker. Tumbal. Frauch. Koyleg. Sorry if I'm butchering your name, my friend. Peter Duwal. Enoch. Snow. Leopard. Remo. Angie Gabriel, Aiko, Sinaga, Seeking Truth, <clears throat> Road FFM, Prophet Muhammad, Faithfully, Mihil uh, Fidi Fleece, welcome, Willie Hendrick, Drumming, John Viken, Heidi A, Said Watt, I think you're Ultimate Shirk, but I'm not sure, welcome anyway. Uh, no one, Pierce Taylor, Rana Hanna, Salam al Masih, Rana Hanna, how are you, sister? I think you're an Arabic speaker like me. Welcome, nice to have you here. Cheeseburger, what's up, Cheeseburger? Represent, welcome, Carolina, how are you, Carolina? Another the admin, God bless you, sister. M, M Man, Bruno for Christ, how are you, dear brother? AKR, welcome, Sandra. Welcome everybody. Sorry if I did not mention your name. There are many of you. We have almost 200 people watching already. Wow. Guys, thank you so much for your lovely support and being here with us. Uh, yeah, I was like, you know, when I woke up, I was like, sh should we do another live show? You know, just to tease uh, these Muslims, you know, who always say, there is no dot, not single, no single letter, no single dot is changing the Quran, man. Especially at the Hafs Quran, man. Brother, Allah made sure to preserve the Quran, brother. The Quran is not corrupted like the like the Jews and the Christians when they corrupted their Holy Bible, brother. And yesterday we proved to you that the Muslims are corrupting our Holy Bible when they quote the Holy Bible and want to prove to us that Muhammad is actually God. Right? We showed you from Quran that Muhammad is God. Chapter 48, Ayah 9. Chapter 48, Ayah 9. Muhammad is Quran. He loved to be worshipped and to make himself equal with Allah. His name is Shirk, the praised one. Right? Muhammad, the praised one. When we go to chapter 1, Ayah 2, we see that all praise goes back to Allah alone. But Muhammad's name, we know it's not a name, it's a divine title. When Muhammad took the name Muhammad, a divine title, and he called himself the praised one. He made himself equal with Allah. What about the Shahada, placing himself together in one sentence with Allah? You know, guys, forget about it. Forget about it. <laughs> forget about it. Yeah, and we yesterday we proved to you that Farida, Fifi, Farid response, is nothing but a mushrik. And the Muslims are still repeating the shirk. They are all, they are all mushrikun. In the end, they are all mushrikun because they directly or indirectly they are worshiping Muhammad. Either way. But that's not my topic today. <clears throat> my topic today, guys, is Allah needs Arabic lessons. Today we're going to drop a lot of nuclear bombs on the face of Allah and His self-proclaimed prophet. Yes, you heard it correctly. Today we have many nuclear bombs in store and we're going to drop them one after another on the Quran of Allah. We're going to show you that the one who wrote the Quran 
was really poor in Arabic grammar skills. Yes, we're going to show you how the Quran is nothing but a man-made book and I have proof. Yes, Rob Christian has proof. Yes, you will see it. I'm going to show it to you on the screen. So if we have Muslims who are sincere, who are not going to get triggered, stay here and you will learn something that your Imams don't teach you. Yes, maybe you have been a Muslim for maybe 20 years, maybe 30 years, it depends on how, how old you are. But I'm going to show you what your Imams did not show you. Because they do not dare to bring those kind of topics up to teach you about your Quran. But we do. And I hope you'll learn some Arabic lessons too guys. You know, basic Arabic things that we are going to explain to you. So if you are interested and you, you want to learn maybe the Arabic alphabet or you know, stuff like that. And you want to find the disasters in the Arabic grammar then you are welcome to watch our live show. So make sure that you have something to drink, maybe a lot of coffee because it's going to be very dry material, especially for the non-Arabic speaking audience. Yes, it's going to be very dry, but I made it as simple as I can. I used huge letters, block letters, you know, you know, huge letters for you to, you know, so you can see the differences that we're going to show to you on the screen. And we're going to use only the halves what Rob Christian? Only the Hafs Quran, which is the number one, the most used Quran version in the world, right? Al Azhar uses the Hafs Quran, uh, Egypt, uh, basically all the countries except a couple of countries in Africa, right? Like Libya, uh, Algeria, Morocco, they use Warsh, they use Qalun, all, ki all kind of different uh, Qurans. Yeah, there are many different Quran versions actually, but you know. I don't want to go too much of topic to that, but today we're going to spank the Hafs Quran of Allah. Yes, you heard it correctly. So guys, make sure to subscribe, smash that like button, click on the notification bell to receive notifications when we go live or upload videos. Make sure also to subscribe to our social media, Facebook slash facebook.com slash The Rob Christian, The Rob Christian. And if you want to support our full time ministry, you can become a patron on our pot Patreon page, patreon.com slash Rob Christian, patreon.com slash Rob Christian. Welcome everybody. Nice to have you here. God bless you. God bless your families. Before we start guys, before we start, let us pray in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ so that our live stream can be blessed by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and so we can be guided and speak without any shame or any error. All right. Pray with me in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Dear Lord, please bless our beloved audience and subscribers. Lord, thank you for your grace. And we Christians believe that Jesus was truly risen and risen is he indeed. al Masih qam, haqqan qam. That's what we say in the Arabic. Truly, the Messiah is risen. Thank you for your ultimate gift, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your grace that saved us from death. And thank you for my lovely audience and subscribers who are always here to support our ministry day in, day out. Please bless them and their loved ones and families. And keep all of us healthy and safe, especially from the spread of this Qur'an virus, Lord. Father, enfold us in your arms. Help us not to lean on our own understanding, but in everything acknowledge you, Lord, so that you can direct our words, thoughts, and actions. Give us a measure of your strength, so that we might not give in to discouragement, taqiyya, makr of Allah. We know it's Satan. Any deception, lies, or doubt, Lord. Please help us honor you in all our ways. Jesus, I pray to you and ask you to shine your holy light on all of us, including the Muslims who are truly in need, the sincere Muslims who are seeking for the truth. So I hope that we will have Muslims who are watching, who are actually here for the truth, not trolls. We don't care about the truth. We, ca we care about the ones who are truly seeking the truth. 
Please, Lord, open their eyes so also they can be saved like we are saved through the holy blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit and loosen my tongue today and guide me so I can speak the truth without any error or any shame because we should not be ashamed about the truth, Lord. And please give me wisdom and courage to do whatever needs to be done. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen. Welcome everybody, we are live. On this live show, we will have the opportunity today to teach Allah and His self-proclaimed Prophet with an eye some Arabic lessons. And I have many nuclear bombs in my pocket that we are going to drop on the yellow pages, i.e. the Quran of Allah. Yes, you heard it correctly. We're going to do that today. On top of that, anything that we can find will be used against the fake prophet of Islam in the court of law. So I hope that Allah is not asleep, not hiding in the bushes like the Imams and Ustaz. And he's going to protect the, his Quran and his prophet from us in the court of law. So I hope he will be there in today's hearing because today is a hearing in the court of law. <laughs> We'll see if we're going to open Skype after we're done teaching. Uh, yeah, let us change it a little bit, guys, because I want you to be focused with me, all right? So I'm not going to open Skype today, guys, because I need you to be focused and I have a lot of material that I want to go through. So make sure to have something to drink for the people that uh, just joined. Uh, Something that contains caffeine, right? Because it could be dry material, guys. Yeah, it could be very dry stuff. But I tried to make it as simple as I could, all right? So let us start, guys. Welcome. God bless you. We already have 235 people watching. We have four dislikes. That means we have at least four Muslims watching. At least four Muslims watching. So that's good. That's good. To the admins, as I said before I started the live show, Please don't uh, block or time out any Muslims. They might get triggered because we are going to expose the Quran to the fullest today. Especially the Arabic. I'm not going to, to go to any English translation. I'm going to go to the Arabic alone. Because Muslims always say, you need to go to the Arabic. Well, we are going to do that. And it's about the Hafs Quran alone. We are going only to use the Hafs Quran. The Hafs Quran. Did you hear it? The Hafs Quran. Speaking from Kif, Hira, Hira, Hira. We're going to go only to the Arabic Hafs Quran. Quran, Quran. Right. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. All right, guys, let us do this. As you know, guys, Muslims always claim that the Quran that Uthman compiled, he, he gave Zayd ibn Thabit to compile the Quran, to collect the Quran from you know, back in the old days, right? The Quran was written on bones of, you know, animals. They used to write the ayahs on bones. They used to write the ayahs on stones, on on wood, all kind of material, on animal skin. So, uh, he gave Zayd ibn Thabit, Uthman, right? Uthman ibn Affan, he gave Zayd ibn Thabit. The Caliph gave Zayd ibn Thabit the order to compile the Quran and Zayd ibn Thabit said, you know, Muhammad, the prophet of Islam didn't order me to do that. And you're going to order me to do that. You know, it's, it's going to be very hard for me, but it seems according to Muslim sources, he succeeded, right? And he compiled it and it became the seventh century Uthmani Quran. When we ask Muslims, can you show us any manuscript for the Uthmani Quran? They cannot. It's lost. What, Rob? Are you saying the Uthmanic Quran is lost? Yes. Guys, the story goes like this. Pay attention, please. Forget about the Muslims in the live chat. I really need you to be focused with me. Right? The story goes like this. Uthman, after the Quran, after the Quran was compiled by Zayd ibn Thabit. Let me give you the name in the live chat. Zayd ibn Thabit. Uthman didn't ask... Uh, people like Ibn Mas'ud or Ubay ibn Kaab. No, he went to Zayd ibn Thabit, who was far too young, according to the number one guy, 
Ibn Mas'ud, because Muhammad in Sahih al-Bukhari, you can go and find the, the hadith, maybe the admins, maybe Phil Herrera can provide the hadith for you guys in the live chat. Uh, <clears throat> according to, uh, to the hadith, Muhammad ordered Muslims, when you want to know about the recitation of the Quran, guys, Muhammad himself said, if you want to know about the recitation of the Quran, go to four people, four. One of them was Ibn Mas'ud, the number one guy. The number one guy, that was Ibn Mas'ud. Uthman didn't command the four that Muhammad mentioned, no, he said to Zayd. Zayd was too young, right? He didn't know the Quran as those four people, according to Muhammad himself. Anyway, we don't want to go too much off topic, but that's how the story goes. And then after Zayd compiled the Quran with his team, Uthman the Caliph, Uthman ibn Affan, he ordered the Uthmanic Quran, the Uthmanic manuscript to be sent to nine regions. So they created nine copies, guys. They created nine copies of the Quran of Uthman. Of Uthman, sorry if I'm butchering the name anyway. And those nine copies, they were sent to Basra, to Damascus, oh, you know, everywhere. All the major regions that the Muslim conquered, right? They conquered Syria, they conquered Iraq, they conquered uh, many countries, right? So, so nine copies were made and they were sent to nine different regions. Nine copies, nine different regions. When we ask Muslims, we want one Uthmanic Quran. Manuscript. Can you show us that Uthmani Quran? No, they cannot. So it's lost. Are you saying that all nine copies are lost? Yes, they are lost. The Quran that you see here on the screen is not Uthmani. It's not from the seventh century. It's not complete. <laughs> yes, this one that you see. It's not complete and it's certainly not Uthmani, right? I, if I'm not mistaken, this is the top copy man manuscript. Muslims claim that the top copy manuscript is Uthmanic. It's false. It's not true. The top copy manuscript that is in Istanbul, Turkey, and I think this is the right one, is not Uthmanic. It's not 7th century and it's not complete. Can you imagine, guys? Muslims don't have an original Uthmanic manuscript from the 7th century and it's not complete. And on top of that, it contains many variations. It does not agree. This manuscript does not agree with the Hafs Quran. Yes, you heard it correctly. It's incomplete. It contains many variations. It's not Uthmanic. It's not from the 7th century. It came later. Wow! So the Quran is gone. The original Quran is gone. And I'm not even talking about the Quran of Muhammad. I'm talking about the Quran of Uthman. Right? Oops! It's gone, brother. Maybe someone flushed it through the toilet or something. Oh, they used it for, uh, you know, to start a fire. Allahu A'lam, brother. Allah knows best. They don't even have the original house, my friend. They don't even have the original house. Right? The Hafs Quran, you know, uh, let, let me put it in a nutshell for you, easy to make it easy. Prince Philip, Prince Philip of the UK is older than the Quran of Hafs, right? Prince Philip, he was born in 1918, if I'm not mistaken, Prince Philip of the United Kingdom. He is older than the Quran of today. Rob Christian, what are you trying to say? What I'm trying to say is that the Quran that the Muslims have, the Hafs Quran, was written in 1924 and the old Qurans were thrown in the Nile River by Al-Azhar University because the Al-Azhar University in Cairo, Egypt, they were responsible for writing the 1924 Hafs Quran. And they threw their old Qurans that had many different variations, they throw them in the Nile River. <laughs> Flushing them down the toilet, brother. Again. Yeah. So, where's the Quran? Where's the original Quran, brother? Yes, uh, Hikup. Hikup Berk. 
Enrico Berg says all nine copies of Uthmanic Quran from all nine regions are missing. Yeah, they're gone. They are lost in history, bro. We don't have one single. We are not asking to, to uh, for the Muslims to give us nine copies. We're asking just for one. Show us one. They cannot. It's gone. And they still to till today they say not one dot, not one letter is changed. Oh boy, oh boy, we have some surprise, surprise for you, brother, today. Surprise, surprise. Just watch, watch. So guys, let me tell you, uh, you know, this is a small introduction, so you'll have an idea, guys, all right? So you can have an idea. This guy that you see here, you know, this is they painted how they painted his face. This guy, his name is Al-Hajjaj ibn Yusuf. Have you, have, has anyone here heard of this name before, guys, in the live chat? Has anyone heard of this name, Al-Hajjaj ibn Yusuf? Anyone? Uh, to the admins, guys, don't ban Muslims. Don't time out, give them a timeout. Only delete their messages if they are insulting or, uh, you know, attacking Jesus Christ or go out of top. You know, just let them, let them stay, please. Uh, as I told you, they are going to get triggered. They, I know they are going to get triggered, right? Because we are going to drop many, many, many nuclear bombs today. So the Muslims who are watching, if you are truly sincere, you are you are going to see how we are going to show you that the writer of the Quran did not finish his school. Yeah, he didn't finish his classes, and you know the Quran of Hafs is really written poorly, and I have proof. Because I'm an Arabic speaker, I can show you that. Not many people can do. I know, you know, David Wood can do it. Uh, Brother Sam Shimon cannot do it. Sister Hatun cannot do it. I can do it because I'm an Arabic speaker. So you see how important today's live stream is, right guys? Because I'm an Arab. I know my dear brother, Christian Prince, doesn't care much about it. He, lo You know, I've been watching Christian Prince for many years. And he really doesn't care to go to... Uh, you know, deep into the grammar because he thinks uh, not many people know Arabic, right? Not many Muslims know Arabic. So it's because he's not doing it, I'm going to do it anyway. It, you know, it's a lot of work. I've been doing, I've putting a lot of work in the she sheets that I'm going to show you. So please, if you care about the truth, if you care about our teaching and our work, stay here with us guys till the end. So this Al-Hajjaj, right? Simply Al-Hajjaj ibn Yusuf. He has a very long name, but that's how he is known. He's born in Saudi Arabia. And they gave him the authority to play with the Quran. What? They gave him the authority to play with the Quran? Yes, brother. Right? They gave him the authority to play with the Quran of Allah. How? Well, this guy that you see here, Al-Hajjaj, he started... To put dots, you know, stuff like this. This is a vowel. This is a dot. You know what you see in the Arabic text. And we're going to show you that. So he's the responsible. So Muslims, guys, in other words, Muslims, this guy, started to add dots and vowels. He started to add dots and vowels in the Arabic text. And he's the one who corrupted the Quran even more further than it already was corrupted. So he started to add dots and vowels, you know, in the Arabic text. Because you need to understand, the Arabic text, the 7th century Quran, did not contain dots and vowels. So this guy, he even did more damage. A lot of damage. And I'm going to show you why. So the, the so-called Uthmanic Quran that we don't have anymore, got corrupted even more harder. By this guy. I mean, what? who gave this guy the authority? Did Allah send him divine revelation to play with the Quran of Allah? No. Is this guy a prophet? No. We know Omar is a prophet. <laughs> when he said Allah agreed with me with uh, at least five or three uh, things, right? About the hijab, uh, you know, the direction of prayer. We, we mentioned that uh, in one of our last live stream. All right, guys? So this guy who came much later, he played with the Quran of Allah. Yes. And he's the responsible one for adding dots and vowels. Here is an example, guys. 
Are you with me, guys? I hope you have a lot of caffeine in your uh, blood system, <laughs> in your veins. So you need to, you know, it's going to be dry a little bit. But I, you look, you see, I made it really big, so you can see the differences. Are you still with me, guys? I hope you're still following, and you and you got what I'm trying to say. So I gave you a small introduction, right? And now we're going to go to the dry stuff. We're going to give you a lot of meat. All right, let me drink something so we can continue, you know. You know, guys, I'm still not 100%, but, you know, I'm, it's, I'm okay enough to, <clears throat> to continue our live stream. So please keep us in your prayers. Keep the admins in your prayers so we can be healthy and 100% again to provide many, many live streams in the future. Please pray for my wife. She's pregnant. We're going to become parents, Lord willing, very, very soon. So keep us in your prayers, guys. Don't underestimate the prayers of Christians, guys. Prayers are very underrated, right? Because a couple of days ago, I was so sick, you have no idea. And a lot of people prayed for me and look, I'm back, guys. You know, don't underestimate the power of prayers <sighs> guys this word bism chapter 1 ayah 1 bism allah rahman rahim brother do you see it it's written like this if we go to chapter 69 ayah 52 do you see it chapter 69 ayah 52 this is the correct way to write it but we can find it is written like this too. So which one is correct? As you see the Elif, let's say the A, the Elif is missing. Do you see it? Here it's missing. Do you see my cursor, guys? Here it's missing, here it's written. And there's a smaller separation here. Do you see it? So the Elif, here it's written correctly because it's b ism b ism not Bism. There's nothing called Bism. But they... You know, played with the Quran of Allah, you know, to make it more easy when you recite. Because it's hard when you say, Bism Allah Rahman. No, so they made it Bism Allah Rahman. Bism Rahman Rahim. You see it? So this is the correct way. This is false. Muslims claim this is correct, brother. No, it's not correct, brother. You're lying. You're finished. You're finished. To Alik. Yeah, Muhammad Hijab. And I end quote. Right? So this is the correct way. We already see corruption, right guys? You see the corruption? And uh, as we mentioned guys, uh, Al-Hajjaj, do you see this guy? This is the guy who started to add dots, vowels. You see these things? These stripes? These are the vowels. This is the vowel. This is a vowel. And you see the dot. Tanqeet and Tashkeel. That's why we call it in Arabic. Tanqeet and Tashkeel. Tanqeet are dots. Tashkeel are the vowels. Guys, are you still following? Or did you get it? Yeah, the di there are critical marks. Exactly. Dotting and vowels came much later. So this Abdul here, he is the responsible guy who started to add. So you need to forget about the dots and the vowels in the original Quranic manuscript. Do you see, guys? If you look carefully, there are no dots here. No Tashkeel. No tanqeed, no vowels, no, you know, those things that you see here. You see those stripes? You can't find them here. No dots, nothing. So try to read this Quran, you cannot. I challenge any Arab to read this Quran, you cannot do that. You cannot read it. It's gibberish. It's gibberish for us now. Because we cannot read it. So to make it easy, so you can read it, they started to put the dots. Because guys, if you put this dot, do you see this dot? Guys, do you see this dot? Give me one if you see it. Do you see this dot? If I put it here on top, right, it becomes an N. Dot on above, above, it becomes an N. Here, as you see it here, underneath it com becomes a B. Bism. b -ism. So do you see guys? If you put two dots on top, two dots on top, it becomes a T. 
and so on and so on. Do you see? Do you see the disaster? Try to read it without dots. You cannot. Free Arabic lessons. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Real Quraysh. I hope, guys. I hope you are learning Arabic from me today. That's you know. Maybe uh, we can throw. Uh, you know, with one stone we can kill, kill two birds. Right. So you can you get free Arabic lessons today, and on top of that, we are destroying Allah by dropping nuclear bombs on His Quran. So clearly, clearly, this is the work of man. This is not the work of God. And who gave Al Hajjaj the authority to play with the Quran, man? Who gave him the, the authority? Did Allah send him divine revelation to play with the Quran? No, he's not a prophet. Yeah, Dhamma Fatha Kasra, exactly. Yes, yes. Dhamma Fatha Kasra. Those are the the vowels, right? Dhamma Fatha Kasra, and the dots are Tanqid, Tashkil and Tanqid. So how was it read at the time? Uh, Tom, uh, guessing. <laughs> they had to guess. Because try to read it without dots and tashkil. Yeah, maybe without tashkil you can read it. If you remove the, the vowels, you still can read it. But without the dots, you don't know if it's a T, you don't know if it's an N, you don't know if it's an E, I, you don't know. You don't know what it is. Thank you for the donation, guys. JJJ says, check Quran Gateway website, it confirms Rob. Thank you. Thank you for, for this amazing uh, support, guys. Thank you for the super chat. So as you see, guys, it's a disaster. Muslims played with the Quran of Allah. Who gave them the authority? Nobody. Allah didn't give the authority. Muhammad didn't tell them to do that. So you see who is corrupting what? Muslims corrupted the Quran. Guys, like I said, here's the example, right? This is chapter 1, do you see it? Chapter 1, ayah 1. Chapter 1, ayah 1. Bism. Bism without the alif. Do you see it? But in chapter 69, ayah 52, you have the alif. Bism. Bism, bism. Bism, bism. So you see, here it's written without. Here the alif is missing. The alif that you see here is missing. So which one is correct? Only one can be correct, man. Not both. Uh, back then, they didn't, they, they didn't read. Only, you know, the, the shiuch, the imams. They only, you know, recite, recite like a, you know, like a parrot. You cannot read it without dotting. Right? It's impossible. Here's another example, guys. The name Solomon. Solomon, Suleiman, Solomon, right? This is the son of King David, right guys? The son of King David. Look how it's written. Suleiman, Suleiman, and Suleiman. Do you hear it guys? Let me say it again. Suleiman, 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 Suleiman. Do you, do you hear the difference? Here the alif is missing. Do you see the alif? Here it's written with an alif. Here the Aleph, that, that long thing here, it's missing. Do you see it? Rob Christian, you are lying! RC, it doesn't say that RC. Really? Let me show you the proof. Do you see here? Suleiman, do you see it guys? Is it big enough? Suleiman, if you remove the vowels, right, because the original Quran did not have the vowels, right? It will sound like Suleiman. But here, from a different ayah. Uh-oh, do you see the alif here? Pay attention to this one, the alif. Do you see it? Here, it's without. They put this baby thing here. Do you see this, this small thing here? The baby alif, it's not even a letter. This baby alif, this small baby alif. We call it an alif. Is not a letter in the alphabet. Right? Sorry if I'm butchering the English guys, but you, you get the idea. So this small tiny thing here that you see here, the green thing here, it's, it's not a letter. So they put it, you know, to, to, to fix, to do damage control. So here it's written differently. You see it? Here without the alif, here with the alif. So here in a different uh, ayah, you see here's the alif, here it's missing. Do you see it guys? It's missing.
So they fix it with putting stuff on top of the letters, on top of the words. So here it sounds like Suleiman, if you remove the, the vowels, and here, you see, it's there, Suleiman, Suleiman. So here you see guys, I removed the vowels, I kept the dots, Suleiman, Suleiman. So this one is false, this one is correct. You see, I, I told you guys, I'm going to drop nuclear bombs, man. I mean, guys, if we have a Muslim who thinks he's smart, he's going to say, Rob, they are both correct. How are they both correct? It's a name, for God's sakes. It's a name. Uh, for example, guys, we have, uh, let's say, Romeo. Uh, we have a dear brother here, who his name is Romeo, right? Can I write uh, his name like this? No, because it will become Rome. His name is Romeo. Can I change his name to Rome? No. It's a name. It's a name. For God's sakes. You can play those taqiyya games with Rob Christian, brada. It's a name, brada. Brada, it's a name. Speaking from Kiev, Hira, Hira. It's a name, name. Can you? Can you, as Allah, Allah, claim to be God, God, and change someone's name in another eye and another eye? No, brother. You see the nuclear bombs that we are dropping, guys? Brother, easy on the Quran of Allah, brother. It's, you're going to create a nuclear holocaust, man. So, these are names, for God's sakes. You can't change someone's name. You can't play with someone's name. In the same Hafs Quran, man. This is the Hafs Quran. Guys, this is Hafs Quran. Not Warish, not, you know, Muslims can't play those games with us. This is the number one version Quran of the world, of the Islamic world, of the Islamic Ummah. The nation, right? Ummah means nation. You see that the Quran is not from God, guys? Do you see that today we have the proof that the Quran cannot be from God? Because God cannot make such mistakes. Once he says Suleiman, and the other, in the other eye he says Suleiman, man. Suleiman, Suleiman. Now it's a name, man. Right? It's a name. Idiot. Allah, you idiot, go back to school. It's a name. Idiot. So here, without an alif, here, with an alif. Do you see it? Chapter 21, ayah 78. Take screenshots, guys, if you like. I don't care. Make screenshots. You see? Take a screenshot. Here, in this ayah, chapter 2, ayah 100 and... Chapter 2, 102, 102. It's written like this, right? Chapter 2, 102, write them, those down, guys. You can compare them. This is Quran.com, right? This is Quran.com slash 2102. Compare it, guys. And this one, same name. This is chapter 21, ayah 78. Let me give you the link too. So you can go and check it out yourself. And see that Rob Christian is not lying. This is Hafs Quran. Yes, brother. Hafs Quran. Another example, chapter 1 of the Qur'an. Rob, go easy on the Qur'an of Allah, man. Qur'an.com, Al-Alameen, 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 the worlds, right? This is the, the worlds. The worlds, Al-Alameen, right? The, the worlds. Here it's written, without an alif, you see, they fix it with the baby elf. Do you see the baby elf? It's not a letter. It's damage control, right? By the Abduls. Brother, this is the world. It's a, it's a word, man. Muslims are correcting the Quran of Allah with their own hands. Ya man'ul, ya man'ul, what are you doing to Allah's Quran, ya man'ul? Who gave you the authority to play with Allah's Hafs Quran, brother? Brother? You see, the, here the Aleph is missing, here it's not missing. So you see, both have Quran, different websites. Let, let me show you guys. Let me show you that I'm not lying. Uh, Rob Christian is not lying. Quran.com. Okay, this is Quran.com. Let us go to chapter 1.
You see, this is the word. Al-Alameen. Al-Alameen. Right? The worlds. You see it? The worlds. Here it's written without an elif. They f they do they are doing damage control by putting a baby elif. That is not an actual letter. You can't find this dumb, stupid thing here on top in the Arabic uh, uh, alphabet, right? It's not a it's not a letter. It's not like A B C. It's you know fixing damage control. And if we go to another website, let me prove it. This is another website. This is QuranWow.com. Here, this is the word, right? Compare, guys. Here, the elif is missing. Here, it's not missing. Do you see this this thing here? Is it? <laughs> and you have also separation in the middle. Do you see it? So you can see it better. You see it? This one is written here. This is chapter one, Surah Al-Fatiha, ayah two. Chapter one, ayah two. Let me give you the links so you can see it for yourself later. This one is missing here. Uh, so here it's added. Here it's missing. Let me give you the link. Quran.com and QuranWow.com. Both have Quran. Do you see it? Missing. Not missing. Here it's added. Here it's missing. Right? Like here. Suleiman, right? Like we showed you. So see how many disasters, guys? You see? I only took screenshots and I put it in paint, right? To make it easy for you guys. So here, this is Quran.com. Same ayah, chapter 1, ayah 2. Chapter 1, ayah 2 from do, two different sources. Here it's added, here it's missing. Do you see it? Here is a small separation, here not. To make it easy for the non-Arabic speaking guys here under us. So Muslims, how dare you? Muslims, how dare you to use taqiyya and deceive non-Arabic speaking Christians and non-Arabic speaking Muslims? Because we know more than 75% of the Muslim ummah, of the Muslim nation, don't know Arabic, they don't understand Arabic, they maybe can read Arabic, but they have no idea what they are reading. They don't need, see the differences. Yes, you know, this long thing here, that's an Aleph, an A, for let's say. Yeah. Do you see? They say not one dot is changed. Not one dot is changed. That's what Muslims claim, right? Not one dot, not one letter is changed in the Hafs Quran. That's what they claim. But here we are spanking and refuting their claim. We are showing you that the Quran has been tampered with. The Quran has been played with. So even the letters, forget about the vowels guys. I'm not talking about the vowels. I'm talking about the letters. Which is a bigger disaster. Forget about the vowels. I'm talking about the letters themselves who are missing. From the same ayahs. Do you see it? Another name, Abraham, Ibrahim, another name guys, like Suleiman. Here it's written without an E, the, the, the letter is missing, do you see it? If you remove the, the vowels guys, because the original Quran did not have vowels and dots, right guys? Remember? Always keep this in mind. So here, without the vowels, you can read it as Ibrahim, Ibrahim. Wait, it's a name. It should be Ibrahim. E, Im. Ibrahim, Ibrahim. Do you hear the difference, guys? Ibrahim, Ibrahim. The E is missing that you see here. The E is missing. So in chapter Al-Baqarah, guys, in chapter 2 of the Quran, in chapter 2 of the Quran, Hafs Quran, guys we're talking still about the Hafs Quran, not other versions. In the entire chapter of Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, there's an e, e missing. The entire chapter. But other chapters of the Quran, they have for Ibrahim, for Abraham, the E included. So it becomes Ibrahim instead of Ibrahim. Right? Missing. Missing E. It's a letter. And Muslims dare to say, not one 
Donna is changed. You liars. It's a name. It's a name. Can I call our brother Phil Herrera? His name is Phil, right? Our dear Edmund. His name is Phil. Can I write his name like this? No. It's a name. You idiot Allah. But there is no, this proves that there is nothing called Allah. The Quran is man-made book. This is a name. Idiot. Can I write Rai? Debit Rai, right? Or another admin. Can I write his name like this? Where's the A? Right? Gone. Missing. And that's what the what the writer of the Quran done to the name of Abraham. Maybe we should call our brother iPhone 3G. We'll, we should call him iPhone G, brother. Not 3G. This is what, what the writer of the Quran is doing. It's a name for God's sakes. Idiot. You idiot. It's a name. <laughs> Lord of mercy. Muslims, not one dot is changed, brother. The Quran is not corrupted. You idiot. Look how many examples we are giving. Guys, do you see? Guys. I hope you are still with me. Do you see how important it is to know Arabic like Rob Christian? Liar! <laughs> how am I lying? It's on the screen, you idiot! You are man, Abdul. Maybe you didn't see it. Al Alamin, do you see it here? Maybe this is Abdul the Feroz, brother. Brother, you just joined. Look, Al Alamin, do you see it? And here you have you have the Elif here without an Elif. Idiot. Look, this is QuranWow.com, half Quran. Here you see the L. Al A, the Elif. Al Alamin. Al Alamin. Here, this is QuranWow.com. Same ayah. Al Alamin. You see it? Al Alamin. They, they pronounce it like this because here they put this small idiot baby elif, but it's not a letter, right? Here? Al Alamin. So they are pronouncing it as Al Alamin because of this thing that they added much later. But the word, the letter, sorry, the letter is missing. Do you see it, guys? Like this. It's missing. Look, this this thing here, the, this letter is missing. Missing. So by putting this baby thing here, which is not a, even a letter in the alphabet, they tried doing damage control, brother. Eh, Feirouz is not an Arab. How can he how can he refute me? He's not an Arabic speaker, man. He's an idiot. A poor victim. Right? So I only took screenshots to show you from two different websites, right? Two different websites. Take a screenshot and try to compare Quran.com, QuranWow.com. Both have Quran. So Muslims again are correcting the Quran of Allah with their own hands by putting vowels, putting this red, I'm, I'm calling it a, a mouse elif. It's not an elif, it's a little mouse, look, a tiny cute thing here on top. But the whole letter is missing. You see? The whole letter, you can see the separation too. If you don't know Arabic. But the letter is missing. Yeah, six-year-old Elif. <laughs> like Aisha. The, the baby bride of Muhammad. <laughs> so Abraham, do you see? The E is missing. You see? The whole chapter Al-Baqarah. Baqara, sorry, the cow. Chapter of the cow. Al-Baqarah. The E is missing but the rest of the chapters the e is included abraham ibrahim abraham ibrahim another example this is a much bigger disaster rob christian how, how, do, how do you how, how dare you to say that man rob christian how dare you to say that yes i do i dare guys this is this is how you pronounce this word yabna umma o son of my mother Oh son, why why are you not going to make it easy? My you know, hey my brother, brother, no, oh son of my brother, uh, mother. 
You know, Allah was smart, my friend. Allah was smart. He could not say, oh, my brother. He had to say, oh, son of my mother. So this, this Arabic word that you see here means, oh, son of my mother. Chapter 20, ayah 94. Chapter 20, ayah 94. Bro, you don't even need to know Arabic and you see the difference, right, guys? Do you see the difference? Do you see the difference? What is the difference, guys? If ju Just look at it. What, what is the difference between this one and this one? If you just only look at it. Quran.com, QuranWow.com. All right. I'll, I'm going to give you the link. Don't worry. I'm going to give you the links. This is Yabna Umma, but also Yabna Umma. If we, guys, let's say, let's say you are an Arabic person. You are a student who goes to an Arabic university. Let's say in Egypt, uh, in Iraq or Syria. If I'm going to give this word to you, you're an Arabic student, right? Arabic student who goes to university. You're, you're a born Arab. You, you are born in an Islamic Arabic family and you go to an Arabic university. If I give you this word, you cannot read it. What? You cannot read it? No. I have it to give you like this. The modern way. Let me show you how they played with the Quran of Allah. Watch. Chapter 20, ayah 94. Chapter 20, ayah 94 from two different websites. Watch. Guys, watch. Chapter 20. Guys, you have to be really, really focused. Chapter 20, Surah Ta, ayah 94. Let me go there. 94. Bear with me. 94. We are almost there, brother. Almost there. 94. All right. 94. Almost there. <laughs> Look. Yabna Umma. Let me play it a little bit. Yeah. Okay, guys. Watch. Qala Yabna Umma. Yabna Umma. Oh, son of my mother. Do you see it, guys? Oh, son of my mother. I.e. my brother. <laughs> Stop using the Aif Quran, brother. So guys, this is QuranWow.com. Right? QuranWow.com. Chapter 20, I 94. Guys, open it on your side and look for the second word, basically. Yabna Umma. Right? He said, Qala Yabna Umma. But wait. Chapter 20, I 94. Right, guys? Did you see it? Make a screenshot. Chapter 20, ayah 94. Let us now go to Quran.com. Quran.com. Chapter 20, ayah 94. Same ayah, same chapter. Same ayah, same chapter. Let me scroll down. Look how it's written. Ah, Rob is not lying. Rob Christian is not lying. Without separation. Do you see it? Yabna Umma. Watch. Yabna Umma. Yabna umma, yabna umma, yabna umma. Aha, aha, ya manul, playing with the Quran of Allah. Aha. Let me give you the link to this one too. Same chapter, guys. Same ayah. Same chapter, same ayah. Different website. Still the half's Quran. Right? Look. Chapter 20, I 94. Chapter 20, I 94. Chapter 20, I 94. Written differently. Here they added the elephs. Do you see it? Elephs. Here they are missing. Without separation. Missing elephs. You see the disaster here? They are written, they have written it like a complete word. You see it? Same, same word, right? Yabna Umma, the son of my mother. My brother, i.e. my brother, right? My brother. Without elephs, three elephs are missing. Ya, Ibn Umma. Oh, oh. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Playing with the Quran of Allah like it's garbage, like it's toilet paper. You see how the Quran of Allah in the hands of the Muslims, in the hands of the... Okay, guys, are you still with me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me, guys? Refresh, please. Yeah, refresh, guys. This is internet. We are in a lockdown. A lot of people are using the internet, so we'll always have this problem. Right? We're back, right, guys? We're back. Refresh. Admins tell the people to refresh. Yeah. 
So you see guys, three alifs are missing. One, two, three. Here they are not included and there is no separation. So guys, if I give this combination to, a, to an Arabic student who goes to a university in an Arab world, an Arab country, he, he can read this word. But if I'm going to give him this one, he cannot read it. He doesn't know what it is. Right? Yeah, I, I, I said inshallah and I did wudu, brother. I did ablution, brother. <laughs> you see how Muslims are using the Quran of Allah like toilet paper, guys? Imagine, imagine if a Christian goes on the street and he starts to burn or, you know, rip the Quran apart, uh, let's say in a country like Pakistan, they're going to lynch him, they're going to kill him on the street. But why the Muslims themselves, when they played with the Quran like this, why are they not burning those people or killing them? Look how they use the Quran of Allah like toilet paper, man. It's toilet paper. The Quran in the hands of Al-Hajjaj <laughs> Al and people like Al-Hajjaj, like this donkey here. When they played with the Quran, nobody dared to do something to him, man. He is responsible for this mess. This guy here that you see, who came much later than Muhammad, corrupting the Quran of Allah like toilet paper in his hands. Look. Same chapter, same ayah, same chapter, same ayah, chapter 20, ayah 94. This is even more clear for the people who do not know Arabic. You can see it, right? You see, I only took screenshot, guys. I only took a screenshot and posted here. This is from QuranWow.com. Sorry, this is Quran.com. This is QuranWow.com. The separated one is QuranWow.com. This is Quran.com. Uh, I really don't understand, Rob, but all good. Tumbal, how are you not understanding me, my friend? What is, what is not clear enough for you? Please, because I want to be as clear as possible. How are you not understanding me? Please be more clear, please. The guy who I just posted, Tumbal, Tumbal1, how am I not clear? Please, tell me how I'm not clear so I can be clear to you. Please express yourself, explain yourself. I want to be as clear as possible. Guys, how is it not clear? I, I'm uh, sorry, I'm not trying to insult you, but if you don't see the difference, then you really need to go check uh, an eye doctor, man. If you don't see the difference. You need to go and see an eye doctor. Make an appointment because there's something wrong with your eyes. Sorry, I'm not trying to insult you, but if you don't see the difference, there's something wrong with you. Someone says it's very clear. You don't know Arabic, brother. Well, you don't need to know Arabic, uh, Prophet Muhammad. You don't need to know Arabic to see the difference and to see how Muslims played with the Quran like toilet paper. The Quran became toilet paper in the hands of Muslims. Difference, look, separation in the same word, same chapter, same ayah. Here, three alifs, here without three alifs. Can you do that with the Quran of Allah? Muslims, can you play with the Quran of Allah and still be a Muslim? No, you can't, but you did. You see the hypocrisy. You see the hypocrisy when Muslims played with the Quran like toilet paper. It became toilet paper in the hands of the Abduls. So how am I not clear? How am I not clear, man? Come on, man. You're, you're playing games with me. Come on. Are you trolling me? <laughs> you can't be serious, right? Uh let us continue guys. I know for some people, you know, it's, it might be dry stuff. This is why I told you guys, make sure to drink a lot of coffee because, you know, it, it might be, you know, difficult for some people. But I really tried my best to make it as clear as possible. So which one is correct, Muslims? Is this one correct or this one? Only one can be correct. You cannot play the taqiyah games with us. Which ayah, which Source is correct. This one or this one? Both cannot be correct because this is Quran. 
And you dare to say not one dot, not one, not one letter is changed? You liars, shame on you. You deceivers. I'm trying, uh, anonymous, I'm really, I, look, look how patient I am, man. You have, do you have any idea how much time I put in this to prepare this work for you guys? A lot of time, all right? It's a lot of work, guys, come on, all right? To make all these screens for you guys. So which one is correct? Choose, Muslims, pick your cherry. Pick your cherry. Is this one correct or this one? It's your funeral. Don't ever say that the Quran is one. There's nothing called one Quran. There are many different Qurans. Many different Arabic Qurans. You liars. Not one dot and letter are changed, brother. Yeah, you liar. You schemer. You deceiver. You see how Muslims use the Mecca of Allah, the deception of Allah, guys? You're finished. You, the Quran of Allah, you're finished. Muslims played with you like toilet paper, man, cleaning their behind, their asses with the Quran of Allah by playing with it. The Quran of Allah became a joke, it became a toilet paper. Quran became Daif, brother. Right? The Quran became Daif. So which one is correct? Same chapter, same ayah. Yabna Umma, Yabna Umma. But remove the vowels and try to read it without dots and vowels. Impossible. Here, putting three alif. Here without alif. Alright. Different word. Without the alif. The second one is correct. Exactly. So we can throw the Quran of Allah in the garbage. Right, uh, Hamza? Hamza, are you a Muslim? Hamza? Hamza. Are you, are you a Muslim? Hamza. Ya Akhi Hamza, are you, are you there? Are you a Muslim? Hamza, please answer my question. Are you a Muslim? It means the son of my mother, both mean the son of my mother. Both of them. The son of my mother, i.e. my brother, right? Allah could not be even more specific. He is a Muslim. Hamza, are you a Muslim? Why are you, are you? Okay, so you say the second one is, is correct. But wait, since you made that claim that it's correct, the second one only, what about this one? If we go to the Quran, look, ha, uh, Hamza, pay attention, brother. Brother, this is Quran.com. I'll give you the link. You can open it and see it for yourself. This is Quran.com, chapter 20, I 94. This is QuranWow.com. They are both halves. Look how it's written here. You say this is one is correct. Okay, thank you. So what about this one? Look, do you see it? So should we, should we, uh, should we, should we throw the Quran of Allah in the garbage, uh, brother? Use it as toilet paper? You see how Muslims played with the Quran? This is Quran.com, this is QuranWow.com. And you said this one is correct. So this is the number one Quran website, guys. Right? We should call these people up and say to them, you mushrikeen, you apostates, you played with the Quran of Allah. <laughs> Fairuz, are you, are, you, are you triggered? Fairuz says, at Rob Christian, stop showing website. Why? Are you triggered? Are you, are you angry, man? Are you angry that we are exposing the Quran of Allah? And guys, we have, we have a Muslim. How, you read, Hamza said, <laughs> Hamza said, <laughs> he said, uh, he said the second one is correct and this one is false. So, but this one is Quran and this is also Quran, you idiot. This one is Quran and this is one is Quran. Both are Quran. They are both Quran, brother. Yeah, now, now he's silent. He's silent for Sabil Allah. For the sake of Allah, Hamza became silent. He just discovered that his Quran has been tampered with. He just discovered that his Quran has been played with like it's toilet paper in the hands of Muslims. Yeah, we should burn the Quran, brother. It's toilet paper, brother. Use it as toilet paper, like the Muslims did. 
So you see how the Al Hajjaj, Al Hajjaj, my friends, Al Hajjaj, this guy here, right? Al Hajjaj did huge damage to the Quran of Allah. Who gave him the authority to play with the Quran, man? Who gave him the authority? Who gave him the authority to play with the Quran like toilet paper, becoming toilet paper? Here's another example, guys. Look how many examples we are giving you today, guys. He is another one. Guys, let's say you are a Christian. Right? You're a Christian. You are maybe a Jew or a Muslim. This word, Samiri, Samaritans, right? If I'm not mistaken, that's the correct way in English. Samiri, Samiri. Do you hear it? Samiri. It's a tribe name. It's, you know, like the Jews, the Christians, the Samaritan, right? Samiri. The Samaritans, if I'm not mistaken in the English, right? Guys, correct me if I'm wrong. The Samaritans, right? Is that how they are called in English? Edmonds? Okay, the Samaritans, the Samiri. Chapter 20, Ayah 95. The Samaritan, yeah, Samiri. Chapter 20, Ayah 95, it's written like this. Here, and then <laughs> they are putting baby elf again. Do you see it? Here without an elf, here. Sorry, here with an elf, here without an elf. Elif without an elif. If you remove the, the, the vowels, guys, the vowels, because remember the original Quran was without vowels. You, you read it like this. Simri. Right? Simri. Simri. Uh, sorry if I'm butchering it. Anyway. And this, the second one, this one is written like this. Samiri. Missing Aleph again. Aleph, no Aleph. The first one, Simri, Samiri, Simri, Samiri. And we know the second one is correct. You see the problem, guys? Do you see the disaster? Same chapter, right? Again, same chapter. Rob Christian, prove it. Okay, no problem, brother. Let us go. Let me show you from the Quran again. And sh prove to you that I'm only doing copy-paste, right? Copy-paste. Chapter 20, I 95. Okay. First chapter 20, 95. The second ayah, to be exact. Look. No elif. And again, this, this small mouse elif, it's not a letter. It's, I don't, I, 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 it's, uh, you know, call it what you want to call it. For me, it's a small mouse. It's not a letter. It's not a real letter in the alphabet. I will give you a thousand dollar Muslims if you can show me the small tiny thing here in the Arabic alphabet. You cannot. It's not an alphabet letter. Baby Aleph, yeah. You have the, the real Aleph and you have this small tiny, call it when you want to call it. Right? This is chapter 20, I 95. Right? Chapter 20, I 95. What was the other one? 85. 95, 85. Right? Okay, let us go to... To the 85. This is the same website now, guys. You can't play those games. Oh, different website. They are playing with the Quran. No, no. Same website. Quran.com. Look. 2085. Ah, the LF. Do you see the long LF? Uh-oh. Same website. Guys, this is the same website. Chapter 20, I-95 compared with chapter 20, I-85. Same website, man. How is this possible? This is one Quran. This is Hafs. You see the Alif? Without an Alif. Uh-oh. With Alif, without an Alif. With Alif, without an Alif. Let us continue. Guys, don't, uh, I'm not going to go out of topic, guys. Please focus with me. Sahir. Magician. A wizard or a magician, right? Sahir. Which one is correct? Chapter 51, Ayah 39. Again, this disastrous thing, this small rat, mouse, elif, here with an elif. Without, 
with an alif. Without, it's the same word. This becomes suhr, right? Suhr could be magic. The first, guys, the above one could be magic. But the second one is a magician. <laughs> Sorry guys, small break, you know, I need to grab my son. <laughs> guys, drink break, I'll be right back, be right back. Oh, this is too much, guys, too much. I better manifest some coffee. Now that's fresh mountain grown coffee from the hills of Colombia. The rise of apostasy. People are leaving Islam at unprecedented rates. The narrative of Islam being the fastest growing religion is no longer true. The Muslim community is now in damage control from this new threat. Dr. Bilal Phillips in a recent Friday sermon openly has warned the Muslim community that apostasy will come like a tsunami. And if we don't take constructive steps to deal with this, it is going to become an avalanche, a tsunami that is going to hit our community in such a way that we will have a very difficult time standing. It will knock us over. Right. I better manifest some coffee. Hola! One bell dance! Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Disfrute un buen café. Gracias, señor. Adios. Adios. Ah, now that's fresh mountain-grown coffee from the hills of Colombia. The rise of apostasy. People are leaving Islam at unprecedented rates. The narrative of Islam being the fastest growing religion is no longer true. The Muslim community is now in damage control from this new threat. Dr. Bilal Phillips in a recent Friday sermon openly has warned the Muslim community that apostasy will come like a tsunami. And if we don't take constructive steps to deal with this, it is going to become an avalanche, a tsunami that is going to hit our community in such a way that we will have a very difficult time standing. It will knock us over. All right, guys, we're back. I'll be back. I'll be all right. Back, 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 back. Yeah, we are back, guys. So, guys, what do you think? Is Rob Christian lying, brother? So, guys, the first one, Sahar, remove the vowels, right? Remove the vowels, remove this tiny rat, tiny mouse thing, because the original Quran was without. It becomes magic. The first one is magic. The second one is magician. Sahar, Sahar. Wow, Rob Christian. Wow. RC is lying. Yeah, I'm lying, brother. Which one is correct? Is it magic or magician? Guys, how, how dare you Muslims? How dare you to say that the Quran is not changed? This is Hafs. Same website again. Look it up. Chapter 51, ayah 39. Chapter 51, ayah 52. Quran.com. Quran.com, the number one website for the Quran in the whole world. Quran.com, Quran.com. Speaking from Kif Hira, Quran.com, check it out. Elif missing. So guys, guys, for the people who are saying, Rob Christian, can the meaning change? Yes, even the meaning can change. Meaning of the ayah can change. Can change. Meaning of the, the sentence changes here. Do you see it, guys? 
The meaning. Can you imagine the meaning? The context is gone. The context is... Right? Context is poof. Yeah, I know. They are triggered. I told you guys that they are going to get triggered. Because when you are destroying the book of Satan, which is the Quran, Satan children, the children of Satan, these Abduls, they are going to get triggered. I told you that. Guys, I think I'm a better prophet than Muhammad. Because I told you they are going to get triggered. Didn't I tell you that? I mean, guys, no imam. There is no imam or sheikh or ustaz who dares to mention this topic to the Muslims. I know Christian priest does not do it. So I have to do it. I know Christian Prince doesn't care about this stuff because you know why? I understand the brother. He loves to mock Muhammad. He loves to <laughs> show you the stupidity of Muhammad. But I have to do it. Sam Shamoun cannot do it. David Wood cannot do it. So it's left for me, brother. So Rob Christian, you know, it's Rob Christian. I'm the black sheep, brother. <laughs> I'm the youngest one. So it's my turn now. It's my turn to barbecue Islam and the Quran of Allah. So guys, again, the above word, if you remove the, the vowels, it becomes magic. The above word, right? Magic. This one is magician or a wizard. So the meaning is different. So it's not only the letter are missing, but the meaning is different. Different meaning of the ayah, different context. How dare you Muslims to say that the Quran is the same? Not one dot has changed. The meaning is different, you idiot. Why are you still a Muslim? Why are you still a Muslim if you know, finally know that Rob Christian is not lying? Guys, let me prove it again from the Quran. Let me show it on the screen, guys. Just a second. Let me show it on the screen. Okay, let us go there. Chapter 51, Ayah 39. 51, 39. Okay, let us go there. 51, I 39. Did I say it correctly? Yeah, 51, 39. Oh, why did I go? Okay, typo. Let me change it again. Fifth. 51, I 39. Look, guys. No elif, right? Do you see it? No elif. Only thing I did was copy paste. I made a screenshot, right? You see? Same word. I only made a screenshot and I put it here. Without an alif. This is magician. Oh, sorry, magic. They, they, it sounds like sahar, like a magician, because we, because of the vowels, right? This tiny thing here, this red mouse alif, which does not exist in the Arabic letter alphabet. So it sounds the same, right? But it's not the same word. Missing alif. Now let us go to the second ayah, which is chapter 51, ayah 52. Guys, are you still with me? This, this is 39, this is 52, a couple verses later. Now let us go to 52. To prove it to you, that Rob Christian is not lying. Do you see it? With an alif here. With an alif, the other one was without. You see? The big alif, the real alif. So this one is magician, the other one is magic, without the vowels. Because like I told you, right, the Quran of Allah, you know, the Uthmanic Quran was without dots, without vowels. Do you see it? You cannot even read it without the dots. Try to read it, you cannot, it's gibberish. Where are the dots? Do you see the dots? No, you, you don't see them. Do you see the vowels? No, you do not see them. This idiot here. This Al-Hajjaj ibn Yusuf, he is the one who corrupted the Quran of Allah. Much later, when the Umayyad Caliphate came into power, right? The Umayyad Caliphate. After the Rashidun, right? After uh, Abu Bakr died. Guys, you need to understand, Abu Bakr was dead. He died. Then uh, Omar came into power. He died too. Ali came into power. Uh, and, and, and Ibn Af uh, uh, Uthman came into power. Then Ali... All four died, and then later, the Umayyad Caliph came, came into power. Look how many hundreds of years later, right? Much later, this idiot here played with the Quran of Allah like toilet paper. 
He is the one who is responsible for dots and vowels. Right, guys? So this word was magic. And this one is magician. Sahir, Sahir. Sahir, Sahir. Magic, magician. Wizard, magic. A wizard, magic. Did you, did you know? Is it now crystal clear, guys? <laughs> I hope it's crystal clear, brother. Why is everybody saying, uh, what, what, what is this? Uh, is, is, are they, uh, the triggered Abdul's are here. Ah, uh, they don't care about the truth. <laughs> I would be triggered too, bro, if I was a Muslim right now. I would be so triggered. Guys, didn't I tell you that I made a prophecy? The Muslims are going to get triggered. So it seems that I'm more powerful than Muhammad. Muhammad is a fake prophet. It seems that Rob Christian is a true prophet. At least I made a prophecy and it came to be fulfilled. <laughs> you remember uh, Abdullah ibn Abi Sarh, guys? Do you remember Abdullah ibn Abi Sarh, the guy who used to write the Quran for all, for uh, Muhammad? You know, maybe on bones, animal skin, right? On stones. Muhammad said, "Okay," and I just came down, write it, and this guy says, "Tabarak Allah, Ahsan al Khaliqin, Glory, uh, all, be, blessed be Allah, blessed be Allah, Tabarak Allah, blessed be Allah." The best of creators. And Muhammad heard that. He said, hey, this, this sounds good. Put it right there like, like you just said it. But wait, I am the one who just made those words. It's These are my words. Abdullah bin Abi Sarah said. So this guy was smart. The scribe of Muhammad was smart. He said, if, if I can fabricate words and according to Muhammad, it's Quran. That means I'm a prophet like Muhammad too. And this guy left Islam. He became an apostate and he ran. He became a, a murtad. He became an apostate. <laughs> oh man, oh man. <clears throat> oh man. So is it magic or is it magician or wizard? Allahu alam. Allah knows best. Why? Because we don't have the original Quran anymore. Uh oh. Ya top top. Any Abdul who can defend this? Any Abdul who can defend? Do you have an Abdul who wants to call us, guys? Any Abdul who wants to call us? Jesus Christ, Lord, I, you know, I'm giving a, a, an, an easy, right? An easy one. It could be, right? It, it, it is magic, right? It's magic, sihr. If I'm going to say I'm going to do sihr, that means I'm going to do magic. I'm going to do magic, sihr, magic. This one is sahir. I'm a magician. You see the meaning totally, the context changes, right? The meaning of the ayah changes. Different meaning, different context. Any Abdul, let us open up Skype, guys. Christians, don't call me, okay? If you're a Christian, you're not allowed to call me. Only Muslims for now. Let's see if we can pick up a call from a Muslim. Is there any Muslim who wants to call? My Skype ID is Rob Christian. My Skype ID is Rob Christian. We are using Allah's Quran like toilet paper today, guys. It became toilet paper because Al-Hajjaj, you know, Al-Hajjaj used the Quran like toilet paper so I can do it too, right? If he can do it, I can do it. If he can play with the Quran, we can play with the Quran. No problem, brother. Right? <sighs> what about this one? Rahmata, mercy. Chapter 2. I 218, same Quran.com again, same website, not two websites, no do, two different websites, one website. This one is written like this, it's the same word, right? Same meaning, Rahmata, mercy. But chapter 38 from the same Quran, it's written like this. Do you see the last letter guys? Do you see the last letter? Give me one if you can see the difference. Do you see the, the, the difference guys? Pay attention, please. Do you see the difference? 
No, the letter, look. This is, we call it T Maftuha, open T, right? Open T. The above one is open T. This is closed T, T Marbuta. Right? T Maftuha, T Marbuta. You see it? Rahmata, Rahmata. But wait, guys, I told you the original Quran of Allah did have no dots, right? It does, did not have dots, no vowels. Let me show you an example of a disaster that we can create. Let's say I'm Al-Hajjaj, this guy, this idiot here, who played with the Quran of Allah with his own hands. Let's say I'm him, all right? Let's say I'm this guy. I have to guess where the dots must come. Dots, no dots. I have to do guessing, right? Because I just implemented new stuff to the Quran of Allah. What if I put a dot here? It becomes not mercy. <laughs> you see this uh, tiny red dot here, guys? Do you see it? You see? I made it. I made this, guys. I, I'm playing Al-Hajjaj now. I'm Al-Hajjaj. I put the dot here. You know what, what this word now becomes? It becomes you stoned. Rajamta. Rajamta. Not Rahmata, but Rajamta. With a dot underneath like this, it, the letter, it becomes you stoned someone, let's say. I'm Rob Al Hajjaj. Yeah, I'm Al Hajjaj now. Do you see the disaster when you have no dots? You have to do guessing. You see how you are playing with Allah's Quran, guys? Yeah, I. Yeah, Fairuz. Fairuz, watch, guys. Fairuz is going to, to waste my time. Watch. I'm going to call him back. Fairuz, brother. Fairuz. He's not an Arab. Feroz, yeah, Feroz, when I kill Feroz. Feroz, Sheikh, your Sheikh Feroz? Wow. Dun dun, dun dun dun, pick up Abdul, pim pim pim. Hello? 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 Are you there, brother? Are you there? Hello. Hello, are you there? Say hello, brother. Hello. Feroz, where are you, Feroz? Hello. 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 Uh. Uh. Yeah, uh. yeah. Say, say something, man. Ah, he hang up. <laughs> <laughs> Let me drink something. <clears throat> Hello, are you there? Meow. Hello. Meow. Yeah, are you there? Hello. Yeah, hello, hello. Yeah, your network is very bad. I can't hear you properly. Ah, uh, you, you know, you need to ask Jibril to stop pissing in your uh, in your connection in your mic, man. Yeah, that is your manners. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, why 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 did you call me Ferus? Go ahead. Yeah, just just uh, you know you're using websites and all, and I even I can use the website and. Uh, idiot, it idiot. Quran.com is the official official website to go to. Quran.com is the official Islamic website to go to online. What what are you talking about? Do you have Quran at home? Do you have a Quran in in your house? Yes. Okay. Can you open it up, please? Wait. Okay, so he's going to open it. No, 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 idiot, idiot, listen, listen. You will, you will not waste my time. Don't waste my time, idiot. Listen, listen, listen. If you have any, listen, idiot, listen. Listen, listen. If you have any audacity, any dignity in you, open the Quran, chapter two, ayah two hundred eighteen. Chapter two, two hundred eighteen. Open, open. I will, I will do that. But no, 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 no. Open. No, no, you, 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 no, no, you, no, 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 you open, open, you idiot, 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 open, open, chapter 2, I 218. You will, you will not dictate me what to do and what to idiot, say. Idiot, okay. God, don't waste my time. I will di dictate you, I will dictate your Allah and your fake prophet. Who are you, man? <laughs> idiot, you have no, you have no dignity. I am, I am commanding you to open chapter 2, I 218 and chapter 3, I 8. Compare them. Idiot. But this one, you know, look. So if I put, guys, let me go back. If I put here a dot, look how the meaning changes. 
You see how important dots in Arabic are, guys? So the the h, the h, right? Rah, rah, becomes a G. Rajamta, rajamta. It means stoning someone. You stone someone. You stone someone with stones, throwing stones at him. <laughs> so mercy becomes you are stoning someone. Rajamta. Only by changing the dot, you know? If you change the dot here, without dot it becomes something else, you see? So this this idiot here, this Al-Hajjaj, played with the Quran of Allah like it's toilet paper. He, he was the one who is responsible, you know, because if you put these two dots here, it becomes an E. Here, this is a T. Two dots under, it becomes a T. Uh, sorry, E. This is T. One dot, it becomes an N. One dot under, it becomes a B. You see how they are playing with the Quran, guys? I mean, I can play with the Quran like uh, Al-Hajjaj. Call me from uh, Rob Al-Hajjaj, man. Right? But you see, guys, how, how you know, forget, forget, let me go back. You know, you see the difference? Same word, right? But written differently. Sahar, Sahir. Forget about the vowels. Magic, magician. Magic, magician. Right? So guys, no vowels in the old manuscripts of the Quran. You see? Fatha on top. This this is a vowel, right? To change the sound. Only the sound changes, right? Sound of the of the letter or the or the word. Fatha, Dhamma. Kesra, these are the vowels. And the dots, right? Tanqeed, dots, you have the dots and you have the vowels. You see it? So the original, the Quran, original Quran, as you see here in front of you, no dots, no vowels. Right? No dots. This, these are the dots that you see, right? This is a B. Guys, this is a B. The letter B, right? If you put the dot, one dot, this dot here, you, put, you place it on top, it becomes an N. If you place two dots, it becomes a T. Two dots underneath, if you place a second dot here, besides it, it becomes an E. Do you see how important dots are, guys? Forget about the vowels. F vowels are only for changing the sound, right? You see the, do you see the disaster that this idiot here, Al-Hajjaj created? He used the Quran like toilet paper, wiping the Quran of Allah with his ass with it. Feroz, who are you, you idiot? I will dictate you, I will dictate your Imam, I will dictate your Prophet and Allah, because Allah, Allah, we need to ask Allah to go back to school, my friend. Today's live show is, is all about that, right? Allah does not know Arabic, man. So this idiot here, he is the one who is responsible to destroy the Quran of Allah with his own hands when he had, when he had to do some guessing. Oh, you know, let me put a dot, you know, uh, let me put a dot here underneath. No, no, uh, I think this is a T. Let me put two dots there, right? So, you know, I'm a hajjaj, guys. I'm putting the dot here. It becomes stoning. I'm stoning someone. I just, sto you stone someone. Removing it, it becomes mercy. So this is what Al-Hajjaj did, guys. Right? This is what Al-Hajjaj, he, he, he was doing guessing, he was playing with the Quran of Allah. Brother, this idiot here. You see, here's an example, guys. Here's an example, do you see it? The original Quran was without dots, without vowels, right? Without the dots, without the vowels. Try to read it, you cannot. Read it. You cannot. As an Arab, as an Arab, you cannot read it. You don't know what it means. So they have to. Ya, iqra, iqra. Guys, iqra, iqra. I cannot read. Why? Why, Arab Christian, you cannot read? Because there are no dots. You see, guys, the meaning changes. Putting a dot here under, it becomes a B. Putting a dot on top, it becomes an N. Two dots it be on top, it becomes a T. Two dots under, it becomes a E. Yeah, right? Yeah. 
So look how Al Hajjaj was doing some nice guessing work. Oh, you know what? Let me put a dot there. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. I want to put two dots there. Or out of Allah became toilet paper, brother. <laughs> Muslims playing with the Quran of Allah and make toilet paper to wipe their ass with it. Islam, you know, it's a joke. The Quran of Allah became a joke, man. Guys, here's another example. Umran, right? We showed, I th did we show this? No, we don't, we didn't. Umran, right? The father of Aaron and Moses and Maryam, right? The father of Aaron, Moses, and Maryam, the father of the prophet Moses, Imran. You see guys what I did? I removed the vowels because it's only for the sound, right? You, If you want to read it, it becomes like this, Imran, 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 right? Arabic way, Imran, Imran. Is that a name? Imran, Imran. Here with an elif, do you see the elif here? Missing, right? This is the correct way. This is a bad way. But if you go to the Quran, and I'm going to show it to you, wait just a second. So this is Imran. This is Imran. 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 This is Imran. 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 Do you hear it? Can I play with someone's name like this? Allah, Allah, you claim to be God. Guys, listen carefully. You Allah, you claim to be God. Can you play with someone's name like this? This is a name for God's sake. Can I call uh, Carrie Ann? Can I call you Carrie Ann? Our sister Carrie Ann. Can I call you Karen? Can I do that and claim to be God? Is it Carrie Ann or is it Karen? Can I play with someone's name like this and claim to be God? No. At least God should be consistent, right? No way, Jose. Exactly, brother. Amran or Amran, which one is correct? The second one is correct. Both cannot be correct. It's a name for God's sakes. It's a name. Idiot. Allah, you idiot. Go back to school, please. Let me prove it, guys. This is chapter 3. Do you see it? Chapter 3, ayah 35. Let me give you the link. Before you say, Rob Christian, you're lying. Again, guys. Putting a baby rat mouse elif, which does not exist in the Arabic alphabet. Al Hajjaj was, you know, sucking it out of his uh, uh, finger, right? You know what? Let me put a, an elif there. Small baby elif, which is not a letter, right? So it's Amrun, Amrun. But if we go, just chapter 3, ayah 35, if we go to a different website, Chapter 3, I 35, same one, right? 335, 335, 335, same ayah, same chapter, 335. Surat Ali Amran, ayah 35. Look how it's written. Alif, real Alif. Real Alif of the alphabet. Do you see it? This one is Amran. This one is Amran. You see it? Amran. The adult Alif, yeah. So Allah, which one is correct? Only one can be correct. Is it Amran or is it Amran? Al-Hajjaj came to play. Al-Hajjaj. Rob Al-Hajjaj. Doing guessing work. Oh, you know what? Let me put here an Alif. Big Alif. A real Alif. And here a baby Alif. Ya Hajjaj, Ya Hajjaj, what did you do to the Quran of Allah, Ya Hajjaj? You played with the Quran of Allah, so today's Muslims, brother, have to play the same game, brother. And you dare to say the Quran is not changed, you idiots? Allah, Allah, you need Al Hajjaj centuries later. You need Al Hajjaj centuries later to play with your Quran. And who gave the, the authority to this idiot donkey here? Who gave him the authority to play with the Quran of Allah, man? Who gave this idiot the authority? Is he a prophet? Did he get divine revelation from Allah? Like Muhammad? No, because Muslims claim that Muhammad is the last 
prophet. He's the seal of all the prophets. So who gave Al-Hajjaj, this idiot here, the authority to, to play with the Quran of Allah, use it as toilet paper? I know, uh, Carrie Ann, I love it. I love that they are cursing me. Do you know what that means? That means I'm doing an amazing job today. I'm dropping nuclear bombs on, on the Quran of Allah. I'm showing everybody that Allah needs to go back to school. Allah, if you claim to be God, you cannot make these mistakes. You said, guys, didn't Allah say he's going to protect the Quran? Allah, speaking from Kaif, Hira, Hira, didn't you say that you're going to protect the Quran? Clearly, you failed to protect it. Where is Jibreel when you need him? Why Allah is not sending Jibreel? I think Allah took some sl sleeping pills and he went to sleep, man. Allah was tired, man. Boy, you boy. No, the boy is you. If you think you can refute me, call me. Why I why I'm not receiving calls from Muslims? I mean, you, you know the Quran better than me, man. Call me. Refute me, brother. We have an, a brother who sent me a text. Let me read it. Uh... <clears throat> you are, are NCP, you, RC, NCP are a blessing to us non-Arabic speakers, especially to Christians in Nigeria. May the Lord bless you. Oh, thank you, my friend. May God bless you too. I appreciate it. I'm here only to serve you guys. We need Jibreel, brother. Yeah, we need Jibreel to help, uh, you know, to, to fix what Al-Hajjaj did to the Quran, man. The Quran used the Quran of Allah, you know, Al-Hajjaj used the Quran of Allah like toilet paper, man. Guys, uh, guys, you don't need me. Honest to God, you don't need me. You don't need Rob Christian because I'm a sinner like you guys. But, like we always say, but, if it's the plan of God for me to expose this cult, so be it. I have to do this because clearly, you know, God wants us to do this. God asks us to expose false prophets, expose false teaching, and that's what we do. So I'm only using my knowledge, man. I'm a sinner. I'm a hypocrite, man. I sin every day. Anyone here who dares to say he's not sinning, you're lying. Right? But guys, we need Jesus. This is why we need Jesus. We need Jesus to guide us to forgive our sins. Right? But if it's the plan of Jesus, my Lord and Savior, for me to teach you guys and use my knowledge and Arabic skills to expose this man-made book, so be it. And as long as God gives me health, right? I know I get tired, guys. I really get tired sometimes after a long live show. Because I have a life, I have a pregnant wife, you know. I have a life, personal life. But you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be with you guys. If I can give you my knowledge and you can pass it on, download our videos, spread them. You know, poor Indonesian victims, the poor Indonesian victims, which is the largest Islamic country on this planet. If you can help them by downloading our videos, cut parts out that you like, translate them, help them, help those poor Arabic, you know, non-Arabic speaking victims, help them guys, come on, help them. No, Rory, it's okay, my friend. Thank you for the super chat. Don't worry. I love you, my friend. I really hope that you one day, I know you're an ex-Muslim, Rory. Thank you for the super chat. I really hope one day that you're going to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and we can call you a brother in Christ. I really hope so, my friend. You need Jesus, my friend. No one can help you except Jesus. I love you. It's time, my friend, to become a Christian, right? We know that you left Islam. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus, you know. You are another proof who can use his brain and leave Islam because you're seeing the disasters, right, Rory? But my friend, you need to accept Jesus. Jesus is the only one who can save you from death because you will die in your sins if you don't accept Jesus. Right? He gave you the gift, accept it with your both hands. My friend, it's time for you, it's time for you, for every Muslim to leave Islam and come back home to Jesus, right?
No one can help you. Muhammad cannot help you. No one can help you. Allah is dead. Allah does not exist. Because if Allah was truly God, he would have protected his Quran. So Rob Christian cannot expose him today by showing you the disasters and dropping bombs on his face and his Quran. What about this one, guys? What about this example? Guys, do you see the difference? Do you see the difference? Chapter 4, Ayah 128, Quran.com Imra'atu, the wife of The wife of Tamar Buta Same word, here, Tamar Ftuha Open T, close T Open T, close T Chapter 3, Ayah 35 from QuranWow.com Right? See? Which one is correct? Only one can be correct, not both. Right? Allah is illiterate, man. We know Muhammad was illiterate according to the Muslims. Not us. Not us. We know Muhammad could write and read. But clearly, this is not a, be a book of God, man. If clearly Allah was God, he should have sent it down the correct way. If Allah claims to be God. But he's not. We know he's dead idol. This is man-made book, man. This is fabrication. Quran of Allah is fabrication. Written by men like you and me, man. So which one is correct? Allahu alam. Allah knows best. But Allah does not exist. How does he know best? Allah knows best anyway, brother. You are literate? Okay, call me. Yeah, Sayyid. Sayyid Muhammad Mahdi. I challenge you to pick up the phone. Call me. My Skype ID is the Rob Christian. Okay, show me that I'm stupid. Show everybody that Rob Christian is stupid. Go ahead. Okay, call me. Show everybody that Rob Christian is stupid. I challenge you. I challenge you. Live on air to call me through Skype. My Skype ID is the Rob Christian. Show everybody that Rob Christian is a liar and a deceiver like your prophet and Allah. Go ahead. Any brave Muslim? Any Islamic hero? Where is Fifi? Where is Farid? Farid? Ya Farid. Where is Farid? Farjini Ardaktafak, yalla, show me your manhood. Show me that you're a man, call me life on air and refute me, man. Fifi, ya, 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 Farida, Farida, ya, ya, Mimi, Mimi Hijab, Muhammad Hijab. You said um, you're going to give David Wood Arabic lessons. Okay, call me. I know my video is reaching you. I know you're watching. Call me and refute Rob Christian. Give me some Arabic lessons, man. I want Arabic lessons, fun. From Muhammad Hijab, right here, right now, live on air. Where is Ali Dawa, man? Ali Dawa, yeah, Ali Dawa. Where are you, ya Kurdi, ya Kurdi, ya Kurdi? Where not ya Kurdi? Meow. I only think I only hear meow, meow, meow. Uh, you, you are an idiot, you are an idiot. Sayyid Muhammad, sit down like a coward, the idiot you are. You are a coward in Tajaban, Ibn Jaban. You are a coward, son of a coward. Stay, sit there, be a nice dhimmi. You, you are my dhimmi because you are too coward to call me. You are my dhimmi, brother. You're going, you know, I'm going to force jizya on you. You are my coward. You are my own personal coward. Stay there, yeah, Jaban, Ibn Jaban. Stay there and cry in the live chat. I don't care. You can cry me a river, man. You can cry me the same river that according to Muhammad is going to go through Jannah. Brother, uh, the Nile River, the, the Nile River and the Furat, right, are the rivers of Allah in Jannah. But wait, they are here on earth, man. Clearly Muhammad was drunk from the Nabid, right? Muhammad was drinking Nabid, wine, right? Nabid in Arabic is wine. And, you know, he was drunk and he thought, you know, he had no idea where the Nile River was. Maybe he have heard of it. He didn't know that the Furat, the Furat, the Euphrates, Euphrates, right, is, uh, you know, here on, on this planet, man. It's not uh, in the Fardos, <laughs> in Jannat Allah. No, brother. Hey, your prophet was a liar, a, a scammer, man. Yeah, the Euphrates and the Nile, according to Muhammad, are the rivers of Jannah, brother. Yeah. 
Uh, cheeseburger says, watching Rob with vaping and some tea. Yeah, أخي, You know? Enjoy yourself, brother. Enjoy the show, man. صحة أخي, صحة. That's what we say when someone is, you know, smoking something. You know, we call, we say to him, we're drinking some صحة, brother. على قلبك يا أخي, على قلبك. <laughs> so Muslims in the light shed, you cannot handle the truth, so you can cry me a river. You know, and I hope it's going to be the river in Jannah, brother. Cry me a river. Ooh. Cry me a river. Ooh. Yeah, keep crying, man. So which one is correct, Muslims? Chapter 4, I 121 or chapter 3, I 35? Uh, chapter 4, what did I say? Chapter 4, 128, not 21, Rob Christian. Watch out. Chapter 120, uh, chapter 4, I 128, chapter 3, I 35. Which one is correct? Which one is correct, brother? Allahu alam. Allah knows best. Any Muslim who think he has the courage and the knowledge to call me? Uh, not not right not right now, guys. Later, okay? If you are a Christian or not a Muslim, you can call me after we're done. Just a second, okay? We are almost done. Uh, and what about this one? Rob Christian. Is it Alil or Alayl? Is it Alayl or Alil? Remove the vowels, guys, because like I said, there are no vowels, there are no dots in the original Quran. Al-Hajjaj was re responsible for adding them, right? Al-Hajjaj, ya Al-Hajjaj, why did you play with the Quran of Allah, ya Hajjaj? So, is it Alil or Alayl? Al Layl. Double L, right guys? Double L. Double L. L, Layl, or is it Alil? With, uh, with one L or with two L's? Alil or Alayl? We know this one is the correct one. This is false. Allah, you are a scammer, Allah. I know, Amir, Amir, Amir Amirul says, uh, no, not you, who, who did say that? Um, on Muhammad Jibril, Muhammad Jibril, brother, Muhammad Jibril, you need to contact your Indonesian friends. Tell them there is a guy called Rob Christian. He is spanking Allah in the Quran of Allah. Translate his videos into Indonesian language and spread them like wildfire on YouTube. Do your homework, man. Do your homework. Don't be lazy, you Christians. Christians, don't be lazy, man. Uh, first, uh, Colossians 1.17, send me a super chat. Thank you, my friend. God bless you for the donation. He says, Rob Christian, I have to go to work, but can you bring up this hadith? Uh, yeah, sure, no problem. Do you want to call me before you go, my friend? Do you want to call me? You can call me now. The line is open. I just finished. Since we don't have Muslims, Christians can call. If you want to call me, go ahead. This is the hadith that you want me to put on screen, right? This is the one, right? You can call me, my friend, if you like. Maybe you wanna explain yourself. Let me call you. Maybe you can. I think I, you know, you're the correct guy. Okay. I'm calling you. Hello, hello, my friend. Hi. Um. Hi, bro. Uh, in like ten minutes, um, uh, I have to run to work. Ten, fifteen minutes. Sure, so, no problem. Stop that hadith, which, yeah, uh, it's on the screen. Yeah, that read is it, my friend. Read it. Uh, let me go to the link. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Allah Messenger said Jibril uh, recited the Quran. In wait, 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 no, wait, no. wait. This is not no, the right. No. It's not the correct one, right? Oh, the other one narrated by uh, Umar bin Al Kitab. Yeah, I narrated Umar bin Al Khattab. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's so the one on the screen. Yeah. So we have two people reciting the Quran in different ways. Yeah. And uh, Allah's <laughs> uh, plain warner said that they are both uh, right. Yeah. The trouble is when we have two people uh, speaking about the same thing, we yeah. can only understand they're speaking the same language and yeah. they do agree that the different uh, in recitation mean different text as well. Yeah. So it's a different meaning altogether. That's why we are arguing. Yeah. So uh, this... Uh, p p Preservation of the Quran, it's just a bad joke. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah. So oh, Muhammad, my friend, Muhammad was playing games with these poor people. 1400 years ago, Muhammad was fabricating. Every time he forgot an ayah, right guys? I hope uh, people are listening. Every time Muhammad forgets an ayah, someone comes to me, he recites it. And then another guy comes and he's recited a different way. Yeah, both. They are both correct, brother. Abdul. Exactly. Abdul, so how, is the, how are they both correct? This, this guy is reciting and he's about to kill the other guy, right? He, 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 look, look what it says. But I wait till the guy is finished reciting. Then I tied his garment around his neck and seized him by, uh, by it and brought him to Allah. So, that, you know, uh, this guy, you know, one of the Sahaba, he grabs him by his throat, right? He, he drags him over the floor to Muhammad. He says, look, this guy is, is doing bid'ah, man. He's playing with the Quran of Allah, man. Muhammad, do something. He said, no, no, let, let him recite it. And the guy recited in a different way. He said, no, they are both correct. <laughs> Yeah, and He's not about to that. kill him, right? He's about to kill him, man. I'll, I'll put a link now with another hadith in which says that uh, Jibril uh, read it in seven. So yeah. we've got seven. Where are the rest? <laughs> they keep saying we have one Quran, but yeah. they, is the Jibril lying? Yeah. Where are the rest of the, the other six? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, by the way, don't forget Uthman burned six and he kept one, right? Uthman, he burned six and he kept one. Right? Exactly. But how, how is it possible that we have, today we have more than 37 different Qirat, right? 37 different versions. So it seems that Uthman failed miserably, right? Not only that, I think, you know, it's like uh, when you go to court, people destroy evidence that incriminates them. That's why they mm -hmm. had to throw away the Qurans in Egypt back yeah. in 20. Yeah. So unless, uh, unless they had nothing to hide, yeah. Uh, why can we find one? And not only that, we have the manuscript of Sana, which has only a few chapters. Where are the rest? And they keep saying ours, it's the problem. You know, it yeah. says the Bible, it's corrupt and so on. But uh, the the first manuscripts ever, I know it's the Sana manuscript, right? In Egypt or something. And it yeah. has like uh, 24 or something, 24 chapters. And uh, it's unfinished, the rest it's blank. Uh, yeah. I can only assume it has been um, completed by others. Yeah. So unless they have more prophets after Muhammad, they were supposed to have a Quran with 24 chapters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? So yeah. it's, it's funny, but uh, what is puzzling me, it's they only take up, they take on people that have no idea about their religion. Yeah, the minute you come up like um, or CP or something like this, you see all the so-called scholars hiding. Mm -hmm. They never call because they know the outcome. And uh, not and the la <clears throat> it's just that they run from Bible because Jesus is bad for business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, my friend. Thank you for calling. Make sure thank to uh, to arrive at time on your work. Thank you for calling. Guys, help this brother out. Subscribe to his uh, YouTube channel. If the admins want to provide the link to this uh, brother, uh, support his work. Uh, and uh, yeah, thank you for calling, my friend. Thank God you. bless all of you and uh, keep doing it. And thank it's a you. pleasure to always yeah. come on and maybe bring something new yeah. or I don't know. Yeah. Thank you very thank much you. for thank you calling me and have thank a nice you. day. You too. Have a nice day. See you. Bye. Bye bye. See we have an Abdul, guys, we have an Abdul, he says, I know about it, okay, call me, we, we will go through uh, the Quran, let me show you some disasters, are you there, brother, do you dare to call me, brother, Mr. Mehrab, yeah, Mr. Mehrab, call me, call me, call me, man. Hi, Rory, welcome, you're live um, I'm going to go in a minute, um, you're doing a great job, um, I was wondering, would you, or, uh... Yes, I'm listening, my friend. Go ahead. Hello. Oh. Rory, you have a bad connection, my friend. Rory, you have a bad connection. I could not hear you anymore. Uh, <clears throat> Mr. Mehrab. Yeah, yeah, ach, yeah, ach. Pick up the phone and call me if you have some manhood in you. Are you a man? Or are you a girl? Call me, man. Yeah, I lost you, Rory. Are you there? So, yeah. 
Okay. Would you open up another channel to teach Arabic? No, I don't have time for that, my friend. I, I, I you know, it's already hard for me. Uh, you know, to to. I uh, think your Arabic I, is. Good. Sorry. I think your Arabic is good. Thank you. I friend. think your Arabic is good, unlike what the uh, unlike what the Muslims claim. Yeah, the thing is, Rory, there are tons of YouTube channels who are teaching Arabic. Tons. Just do it and you will see how they are teaching basic Arabic. So if you want to learn Arabic, you can go to those YouTube channels. I'm here to expose yeah, um, Islam and the Quran, right? So maybe today some people benefited from my Arabic teaching. You know, maybe you benefit from yeah, it, yeah. Yeah. So but if you really uh, want to learn, you have I, to go to I other YouTube the... channels. I don't have time to teach Arabic. I can, but I don't have time for it. I have to, you okay. have a ministry, I, I have a job. My job is to expose Islam, expose the Quran, and expose this evil son of Satan, Muhammad himself. Right? Uh, what's the website? Is it Quran.wow.com? No, it's Quran.com without separation. Quran.com, Quran.com, and Quranwow.com without separation. All right. We put, we right. put uh, um, the, maybe the admins can provide the I links. Got, yeah. yeah, I got a, I got a Bible. Yeah. Rory, Rory, what is holding you back to become a Christian, Rory? Oh, we lost Rory again. Rory, are you I'm there? I'm not sure yet. Uh, Rory, yeah. Rory, do you, listen, Man. listen, listen, listen. Hello. Rory. Rory, are you still there? Are you still there? Yes, I'm still here. Okay. Rory, do you want to pray with me and accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Right here, right now? Come on, you can do it. Um. Well... Come but on. the public prayer, I'm no, not bro, sure. I, I'm going. I'm going to um, pray. I'll I'm think going about to pray. It. No, I go, I'm going to pray. You can repeat after me and accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You can do it. Come on. What is holding you back, man? What is more beautiful than Jesus? Um, J Jesus taught you to love your enemies. He taught to forgive your worst enemies. What is more beautiful than this teaching? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Be honest. Um, be honest. I'm gonna. Re I'm. I'm gonna be read. Uh, I'm gonna. Read the Bible and yeah. uh, hopefully you expose Islam more and more. I'll, I'll, My friend, I'll more than you. this already? More than this? <laughs> more than this? We, we, uh, we, 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 are, we dropped today, uh, we dropped nuclear bomb after one an, another. How many bombs did I drop, guys, today? Honest yeah. to God, right? So, my friend. 2,000? Uh, I don't know, I forgot. It's over 9,000 if you watched, uh, you know. Anyways, it's over. Yeah, the level okay. is over 9,000. <laughs> no, Rory, I, 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 you want to do it? Right here, right now? Come on. Um, Maybe soon, but not yet, because oh, okay. I haven't read the Bible yet. Okay, no problem. Okay, no problem. Read, read, start reading, my Hello? friend. Yeah, Hello? I'm, I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you. Start reading. Reading, and yeah, you'll um, see, I got, you'll see I got how beautiful the Orthodox, the uh, uh, I, the, the go, Bible just came today. Yeah, go to yeah. Are you oh, you got a Bible? Okay, good. Okay, cool. So you are stuck. Uh, Roy, your connection, my friend. Yeah, your correction is really bad. Uh, so, um, so I just heard that you received the Bible. Okay, read it, my friend, Roy, and maybe call me when you are up for it. Right? We can pray together, and you can accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Take your time. Hey Alexander, hello. Hey brother Rob, hi, hi, hi. Hey, how are you? Uh, yeah, good, good. How are you? I'm good. I'm having fun. Don't you see? I'm I'm using the yeah. Quran as toilet paper like Al Hajjaj did, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> brother, yeah. I have just a short question about Arabic. Yeah. Uh, here in Germany, in Switzerland, the Imams uh, tell the people that Kufar. Yeah. is not an insult <laughs> they, they, yeah. tell, they yeah. tell to the people that means cover it and a kafir is one uh, uh, who is covered from the truth yeah, yeah can you please tell me what is the correct true uh translation of the word kafir kafir kafir, me, kaf, uh, kafir, kafir means someone I'm hearing myself double, my friend. I don't know why. Uh, but kafir means someone who is an unbeliever, right? Tikfir yes, Allah. I, I you know, are, know, when you are, you are, when you are a kafir, you are already an insult to Allah, according to Islam. Be, I know, I know kafir yeah. means unbeliever, but yeah. they turn, they translate it and they say that means that comes from the word kafara yeah. and that means 
uh, uh, one, uh, the kafir is one who is covered. You are insulting uh, Allah. That basically, in a nutshell, it means you are insulting Allah. Kafirt billah, right? You are insulting Allah. You are, you are, you know, you are actually, you are attacking Allah. That's what it means. So, you know, when you become a kafir, you must be disgraced. They must, you know, you, they must treat you like a slave. You are a slave. I mean, if you see my intro video, you see this uh, Imam with the long beard? He's teaching about mm -hmm. Islam, right? In my intro. The new yes. intro, guys, right? You see, they are allowing, they are allowed, Muslims are allowed to take you as a slave. I mean, what is more dis disgraceful than being a, a slave for, of, of a Muslim, right? So it's a, it's an insult to be a kafir. And they are allowed yes. to kill you. I, they are, they are allowed to do anything, anything with you. I, l I learned this from, yeah. from you and CP. Kafir is an insult, but they, yeah. they, they teach the people here. No, kafir is not an insult. That nah. only means he is covered. Uh, he nah, don't nah, uh, nah, see nah. the true my friend, God. My friend, since when, since when are we going to believe Muslim lies? Come on, my friend. You're smart. Right? No, I, I, I don't nah. believe this. This, yeah. the, I know. That's the reason yeah. I call you. I just want to. My know friend, if you're not a, if you're, if you're not a Muslim, if you're not a Muslim, you are filthy. You are nudges. I mean, you you know, they say Jews and Christians are the people of the book, right? That's what they call us, right? Yes. Are we allowed to enter Mecca? No. Okay. Why not? Because we are filthy. We are nudges. We are nudges. So that's an insult. Yes. All right. We are an insult to Allah, right? Look, let me show you on the yes. screen. Just a second, my friend. Can you see the screen? Uh, one moment. One moment. What's going on? Uh, Why is this not working? Just a second, my friend. Okay, I think maybe like this. Okay. You see, guys, no, see. when you go when you go on the road, you see this is the road to to Mecca, right? Do you see it? When you go on the road to Mecca, you'll see this: Muslims only, for non-Muslims. Why? Because you are an edges. You are filthy. You are a disgrace to Islam. You are a disgrace. So look at this, this super Marxist. Guys, imagine you're a Muslim. We are not allowing you to enter New York. Because you're a Muslim, you are not allowed to enter DC, Washington DC. Look what they are doing, man. You see it, guys? This is on the road to Mecca, man. Why are you not allowed to Mecca? Uh, why only Muslims? Because Muslims are better than you. You are a filthy kafir. You are a nidges. You are dirty, you are filthy. You are lower than the lowest animal, right? You are a disgrace. Yes. I mean, if this is not racist, super Marxist cult, then I don't know the meaning of super Marxist, man. Look! That, that's the that's the same thing what uh, Hitler does with the Jews with this yeah. star on the arm and yeah. this pla this tables don't buy uh, Jews uh, only for Jews and my friend the moment the moment you are don't accept Islam you are not a Muslim you are not even a human anymore you they don't they don't treat you as a human I mean you know I don't, uh, you know, I already said enough, right? It's clear, crystal clear, right? Yes. You're not a yes, human. If you're not a Muslim, you're not a human. It's, you're not a human. What's more, you know, you're, you're even lower. The, Allah in the Quran says, you know, the Jews and the Christians, anyone who's not a Muslim, you are the worst of creatures. This is why you're red and they are green. You are red and they are green sign, right? <laughs> Yes, yes. You are too filthy. You are too filthy to enter Mecca, man. Look, Mecca. Here you you are not allowed to enter Mecca. Look, this is the road. Go on the right side. Go there. Here is Mecca. Here is not Mecca. You are going to make Mecca unclean. You are going to make Mecca dirty if you enter Mecca. Stupid cult, what? stupid racist what cult, stupid super racist cult. cult. And they dare to say that Hitler was bad. Muhammad was more evil than Hitler, man. Who, compared to Muhammad, Hitler was cute. Sorry to say, guys, I'm not trying to, you know. <laughs> but Hitler compared to Muhammad is cute. Yes, right? yes, yes, yes. No, that's that's the only question I have.
and uh, to say thank you for your teaching for you, this Muhammad. Arabic lesson. And uh, again, when uh, if Allah is the, the real God, why he don't reveal the Quran with the dots and with the walls? Yeah. Why yeah. why don't Jibril say, hey, Muhammad, you you need to put their dots and walls? Yeah. And why do you need someone who has no authority? Who gave Al-Hajjaj Ibn Yusuf the authority to play with the Quran of Allah, use it like toilet paper? Who gave him? Did, he, did Allah make him a prophet? Did Allah send Jibreel to Al-Hajjaj? Much later, after Muhammad dead and was rotten in his grave, after the four caliphs, right? Like uh, Abu Bakr, Umar, uh, Uthman, and Ali, they all died and, and their bones became dust, right? Their bones became dust. Who gave this guy authority much later during the Umayyad Caliphate to, to play with the Quran of Allah? Who is this guy, man? So this guy used the Quran like, you know, a game in his hands, like toilet paper, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this, Crazy. It is what it is. Look, look how many things. Okay. Playing with the Quran. Hey, look guys. Disgusting, man. Disgusting, evil son of Satan. Who, you know, this, this Muhammad, when he created Islam, he created it for his penis. He created to steal women. Right? Rape as much women as he can. Right? You know, as long as Khadija was alive, Muhammad did not dare to do these things. Khadija dies and Muhammad becomes a totally different person. Right? Totally different person. I know, I know. I know. If Khadija did know, if guys, truly, if Khadija knew Muhammad will become a very evil guy, she would not make him a prophet. Right? Because she wanted, you know, she wanted, she's rich. She's the richest woman of Mecca. And who's better than to make her own husband a prophet? But if Khadija knew yes. that Muhammad will become a filthy murderer, a filthy pedophile, a filthy racist, she would not have made him uh, a, a prophet. She would have kicked him a long time ago, right? Yes, yes. She was she was proud about uh, her own toy boy and with, yeah. with more power is more sexy for her. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yes, it's a filthy, it's a filthy cult, brother. Yeah, my friend. You know, so this is why I always say, guys, you need to download our videos, translate them. I'm not asking you to translate the entire video, but cut parts out that you can use, translate them to the Russian language, translate them to all the languages, to Indonesian language. Help those poor victims. Help them out, guys. Come on. Don't be lazy, Christians. Christians, you have a job to do. I'm not asking you to teach like. Christian Prince, like David Wood, like Rob Christian. I'm not asking you to teach, but don't be lazy. Do your homework. Do the job that we cannot do, that we don't have time for it. Translate. Download and translate. Don't be lazy, Christians. Right? Use your knowledge. Yes. If you can translate, do it. Help me to help you. Exactly, David Roy. Right? No, I just, just want to thank you for your teaching. I learned thank so you, much friend. about Islam. Yeah. Uh, just... Two minutes, a uh, short story for you. I learned so Go much uh, from your teaching and CP uh, here in my town, in my area, is one Muslim. He converts so many Swiss young boys to Islam, really so much. I think 20, 30 young Swiss boys converted to Islam. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> two without, weeks ago... Without any yes. idea what Islam is, right? They, they have no clue what Islam is. No, they, they have no clue. They have no clue. They, they and did not two tell weeks them, ago... Yeah, they did not tell them, if you leave Islam two days later, they're, they're allowed to kill you, right? They did not even tell them. No, nothing, nothing, nothing. And two weeks ago, I contacted him to talk with him. And uh, I think... He thinks I, I was interested to converting to Islam. Yeah. And then we sit uh, in a coffee and drink coffee. And after five hours, five and a half hours, mm -hmm. he started crying. And then was the, the chat, the talk was over. Mm -hmm. And next day I received a message from him that he leaves Islam. Oh, that's great. Yeah. I show him I show him all the stuff which you teach and CP teach. I show him really and he, he can't believe he he he, uh, 
he don't know he 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 hear nothing of this never before he hear these things mm-hmm. that uh with uh, with uh, with the zaid with uh, with the daughter with uh, mm-hmm. i show him really i show him every video every section i every uh, verse from the uh, from quran every hadith and he was shocked he start crying after five five and a half hours talking mm-hmm. he really start to cry mm-hmm. and uh, next and next, the next day he, he said to me, hey, I leave Islam. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Mm-hmm. And I hope uh, I can do more good yeah, deeds friend, for... I kid you not, my friend. I believe, you know, if you want to ask for my opinion, I believe if the Christians, the Christians who are watching, the Christians who, who see our videos, the Christians who watch Christian Prince videos, if Christians won't be lazy, instead of watching on YouTube cooking videos and watching uh, uh, maybe uh, uh, music videos, if Christians would do their job, Islam would die in, in two years. In two years, I would give it two years only. But unfortunately, yes, yes, it's the yes, truth, it's yes. fact, Christians are lazy. You Maybe the Christians who are watching not, but the, the majority of Christians are lazy. You are lazy. You don't care about those poor souls, the poor victims we call Mohammedans, the Muslims. They are victims of this Arabic death cult, this Arabic hate cult. If you were not lazy, Islam would die within two years. I kid you not. But you know, what can we do about the lazy Christians who don't care about what Jesus said? Go proclaim the truth, expose false prophets, expose false teachers and false teaching, and okay, then share the, the don't truth. Fear, don't share fear the Muslims. Yeah. Don't fear Muslims. You have the truth. You have Jesus. Uh, what what can be? You have the truth. Don't fear the Muslims. Just show yeah. the truth and Jesus will guide them. Yeah. My friend, so to be you, honest with you, yeah, before you go, you know, I want to share something with you. You know, when I started, guys, I hope you are interesting in, in my story. When I started going on, on Paul Talk 15 years ago, I went to Paul Talk. Why? Because I heard our brother, dear brother, Zechariah Butros, you know, the Coptic uh, Christian priest, right? Zechariah Butros, he's famous. He has many millions uh, on his head. Muslims, they issued a fatwa to kill him. And if you can kill him, you will get $60 million. So I watched, I watched that and I was like, hey, I know that he is on Paul Talk. So Zachariah Butros, before he uh, became famous for attacking Islam, exposing Islam, he used to sit like me, like you, on Paul Talk on YouTube, right? So I went there and I learned a lot about Islam. And then I decided to create my own room, my own channel on YouTube, uh, sorry, on, on Paul Talk. And we had many debates, I, I, uncountable many debates with Muslims. We were spanking them left and right. And then, you know, I saw you, Christian Prince, he made YouTube channel a long time ago, right? Uh, but I had no, not much knowledge how YouTube worked. I had no idea how video editing worked. And then after many years, you know, like one, one year ago, I started what I'm doing now, right? It's never too late, guys. It's never too late. To start your own ministry if you have the knowledge if you have the courage to do it but I'm not guys again I'm not asking you to do what we do if you cannot do it at least at least download share our videos translate them in your own language I'm not asking you to teach right guys so my friend thank you for calling thank you very much Rob thank you thank you appreciate you God bless you have a nice day you too God bless bye 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 Guys, you know, we can be lazy, man. We can be lazy. I mean, uh, compared to Paul, compared to John, compared to Matthew, you know, we are we're not even, you know, we're, I, can't, I can't be even their shoe, right? But at least act like Christians, man. Do what you have to do. Uh, mute YouTube, please. Mute YouTube, please. Hello? Mute YouTube, please. Hello? Yeah, hello. Please hello, mute brother. You- yeah, mute YouTube. Uh, please only speak through Skype, please. Okay, I'm, sc- I'm t- speaking f- through Skype my- okay. from my phone. Yeah, you're welcome. You're live on air. Are you a Christian? Yes, I'm okay. Christian. Uh, my uh, 
I am using the Somal Christian TV. You can see my nickname oh, there. Oh, that's you. Okay, guys, it make sure to... It is me and my husband who is uh, the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, um, yeah, if we the have admins, Somal Christian TV. Uh, just, a, yeah. Yeah, just a second, sister. Guys, uh, this, this sister here with her husband is running an amazing YouTube channel. Uh, the admins, please provide the YouTube channel and all you, all of you subscribe and help this sister out. Go ahead, sister. Go ahead. Oh, so sweet of you. Thank you so much. My God mm -hmm. bless you. My God bless you, my brother. God bless you. So, sister. yeah, my name is Shania, Shania Gabo, and my husband's name is Shina Gabo. So, like you do now, we used to do like uh, 15 years, like more than more than 13 years. I We've see. been like uh, just using our uh, just using nicknames, not showing our face. Yeah. Uh, using Impal Talk and there where I met uh, Christian Prince first time on there. How, how, long, I, how long was I, that ago? How long was uh, that ago? I think it was, um, I'm follower of Christ 16 years now. Wow, wow. And you used so to be I a Muslim, right? Around there, ar around there. But and first you, one, sorry, I you're, you're, you're an ex-Muslim, right, sister? I am ex-Muslim Somalia. Wow. We, God bless you. They call themselves 100% wow. Muslim. Wow. Sunni, yeah? Wow, so we, I, yeah. I I used to be Sunni Muslim. So one night Jesus saved me. Wow, I think God. if, if you go to my YouTube channel, people can can see my testimony yeah. I've done last uh, last Saturday on Al Hayat television wow. called Al Hayat. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, Al Hayat. So I know it. Yeah. So if anyone go there, yeah. they can see they this English and Arabic. So wow. I'm so sorry, my English is not that no, good. No, it's but, perfect. No, no, no. I understand you. Your your perfect by English. By the grace yeah. of God, yeah. I'm, I'm getting there. No, but anyway, yeah, anyway, yeah. grow up in a Muslim. Yeah. Never know all this thing you exposing now. Mm. I did not know anything. I thought Islam is peace and good and this and that. So, yeah. but one night I've seen um, the another another way. I've seen the bad, the ugly way. You know, yeah. I I knew only the good way, but the ugly way. One night when I see a, a beheading of a man. So oh, that's the yeah. night I decided to leave Islam and never mm. come back. Mm -hmm. But the grace of God, Jesus came to me and yeah. saved me, and I become follower Hallelujah. of Christ. Hallelujah! And and the Lord saved even my husband four years later. Wonderful. You know, when I first get saved, yeah. the people who support, uh, I mean, did not support me, but they, they helped me to know the the reality of Islam and what is this Muslim, what they do, and and the Quran, what it says, because I've been learning Quran, praying and mm -hmm. fasting, but. Quran is Arabic language and my mother's tongue is not Arabic. We speak only Somali. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Even if you memorize, I don't even knew what I was saying most of the time. But I learned a lot uh, Islamic uh, teachings yeah. from David Wood. Yeah. David Wood. Wow. A very good, Sam good Shemun, guy. Yeah, yeah. Sam Shamoon, my God bless yeah. them. Amen. Both of them, Amen. seriously, I learned a lot in the beginning of um, earliest when I Mm -hmm. left Islam mm -hmm. and I was like shocked what I was hearing from from them and mm -hmm. I even checked you know whether mm -hmm. they're telling if it's truth or not and mm -hmm. and I find out all that's the truth so my teachers number one is David Wood number yeah. two Sam Shamoon and number three is Christian Prince and yeah, I even legendary, bought his, legend his first Christian book Prince. Yeah, yeah, Christian yeah. Prince yeah. he had the book called uh, The Deception of Allah yeah. and I bought it that wow yeah, yeah. yeah. many years ago yeah. But anyway, anyway, praise God. Five years ago, I want mm -hmm. to tell you, brother, something. Yeah. And 2015, I'm listening, sister. Go ahead. It's a blessing yeah, to have you 2015, here. 2015. Yeah. 2015. And I went to Somal Christian uh, conference. That yeah. Somal Christian conference we've been doing in Europe. Yeah. We started, I think, 14 years ago. Yeah. And first year, only three people came from yeah. Europe. Somali Christian. We could find only three people whole mm. europe yeah wow yeah and later on next year 10 god has added wow. because we've been yeah. preaching we had the chat room amazing. Uh, pal amazing. Talk. we used yeah. to have pal talk and uh, a room yeah. called so, uh, somal christian yeah. something like that sister do you remember my room have you ever come to my room uh, we i called it jesus or muhammad have you ever heard of it yes that yes. was my room i used that to go room. all yeah. the rooms like oh, that okay. i used to even yeah. go uh security yeah. putros room yeah. i used to go all the rooms but you know that time yeah. there was the time we just moved to the uk yeah. moved from sweden so yeah. my english was uh, even worse than now you know <laughs> but the but the holy spirit uh, teach me anyway anyway move forward 
every year God has had us more people, Somali getting saved, Somali getting saved. Wow. And 2015, our mm. conference, you know, our meeting, yeah. we were 120 Somali believers, new believers, 120. So mm. when I see 120 Somali believers, wow, God put in my heart, I've seen the Lord wow. said, you know what the Lord said in my heart, you know? Mm. He said, I'm building my church among the Somalis wow. and no one can stop. Amen. Now is the time to reveal yourself, show your face wow. and I will protect you. He, he was protecting me even from day one because I had fatwa out after fatwa. My mm. family disowned me. I had a lot of threats. Yeah, so see. this time mm. I said, I will show my face and I will use my real name. My yeah. name is Shania Abdullahi Gabo. So yeah. I said, yeah. I will do this. And I tell my brothers and sisters, all the believers there, mm -hmm. uh, I start with my husband and yeah. all the others. And I said, I think now is the time. Yeah. Let us show our face. Anyone who want, just, we say we are Somali believers. Why the Somali yeah. calling themselves 100% yeah. Sunni? We yeah. are 100% Sunni Muslim. They always say that. Yeah. So we said, let us do, uh, change this. I want to show my face. Mm -hmm. I want to reveal who I am. I want to proclaim the gospel in openly and my real name. Yeah, you know what happened? Yeah. You know what happened, my brother? No, go ahead, sister. Twelve people said, ten more with my husband it will be eleven. And with me including, we will we become twelve disciples. Like twelve Somalis said, wow. yes, I want to show my face. Let us show mm -hmm. our face. Wow. And you're, you're a warrior. You're a lion, sister. You're a lioness, to be honest. Uh, oh, wow. praise Jesus. <laughs> That's the Lord. It's not me. <laughs> wow, wow. God bless it's not, it's you. not me. Seriously. So mm. we show our face. Yeah. And when we show our face, you know the 12 people just saying, my name is so-and-so. I said, I'm, my name is Shania. I'm from, I live in the UK. I'm Somali Christian. Another wow. person will say, I'm from um, Italy or from Sweden or from wow. Holland, and they, they are Somali Christian. Wow. That 12 people shook whole nation. There is 28 million people wow. who speak Somali. Wow. Yeah, 28 million. Shook whole country. Just 12 people are saying, we are wow. Somali Christian. Wow. And they said, look Warriors. what they have done. <laughs> look yeah. what the Christian has done to us. Mm -hmm. The church, the Christian ha has win. Look, our country used to be 100% Muslim. Mm -hmm. Now it is 100%, they, yeah. they, it's not 100% anymore. Yeah. Look at this people. Sister, and can you know I ask you a question? How many, yeah. how, how many, Mus um, uh, actually how many Christians at the moment do you think? Can you, can you give us an idea? How many Christians are I in know, Somalia right now? I, uh, only God knows, uh, yeah, seriously. But can many, you give us a number? But I, uh, around around 5,000, I know, or more. And, uh, and before was zero, right? Zero, zero, wow, zero. Hallelujah, hallelujah. But anyway, anyway, uh, praise God. Praise yeah, I mean, God. Maybe I mean. there was some people, some Christian in before that, but I yeah. did not know. Yeah. Knew, I knew only two or three people. But anyway, you know what happened? Mm. So they did. They said the imam sat down and they went to the court and they win our, their case. And they said, anyone who see them, kill them. Wow. Anyone who see these people, because they mm. are infidels. Uh, but now they you said- You're yeah. you're infidel, you're everything, yeah. Yeah, everything. Yeah. And they said they are living in Europe. Yeah. Either kill them or find out where they live. Yeah. And we will send some people. You know, they have so many al Shabaab, so many evil yeah. people who yeah. want to kill and think they're going to go to heaven if they kill us. And you yeah. know what happened? So what, when, they, um, when they did that, after that, my husband and I, we started like this television, you know, Somali Christian TV. Yeah. Openly, we started... Uh, proclaiming the gospel to the Somalis, answering for them, showing them Jesus is the only way to heaven. You know, yeah. the truth is only Jesus. It's not Islam. Islam is not going to take you to heaven. Mm -hmm. It yeah. will take you to hell. It's, it yeah. will take you like bad places. I said, exactly. we, yeah. and we come out and every day, seriously, even yeah. two weeks ago, we had another, another threat. The mm -hmm. Somalis are making videos, stop this people, stop, but they cannot stop us. No, of if course God not, yeah. is with us, who can yeah. be against us? Exactly. No one. Exactly. Sister. No one. Mm. So thank you so much, people like you, you and thank all you. the others, David Wood, Sam mm. Shimon, and, mm. and, and, and Christian Breeze. I think you all not in 
I, why the people saying they're insulting us? You're not insulting. You're just telling what they yeah. have in their we book. We tell the truth. Yeah, we, we're only showing. You're shilling. telling the truth. Yeah, you're exactly. exposing. Yeah. And uh, David Wood, I was shocked when I first time see him. You mm. know how, how much knowledge they have, these people. You All of you, you, you have more knowledge than real Muslims, you know. <laughs> I've been Muslim many, many years. <laughs> but what you knew and yeah. what I learned from David and from Sam, Mm-hmm. And from Christian Brees, and now from from you even, we did not hear that mm-hmm. in Somali language. We did not hear that. We never hear all these things. Mm-hmm. But anyway, we praise God, people like you. Thank you, sister. And, God bless you too. To be you honest with you, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, we we do this, but I would not have the same courage as you because I have my family in in the Middle East, right? I because if they know who I am. You know, I'm not of scared to die to, for Christ, to be honest with you. God, yeah. is, my, God, God is my witness. But because yeah. we have family, we have family in the Middle East, they can, yeah. you know, you know, you know yeah. what I mean. Yeah. So yeah, this is I, why I don't want to show my I know, face. Brother, I'm not scared. Mean? Because uh, for right. us, yeah. it cost us everything. Yeah, my family disowned yeah. me. Yeah. My family wow. became my enemy. They even threatened me, say they will kill me. Yeah. Now whole nation are after us. But yeah. you know what? Jesus yeah. is with us. I mean, I'm a follower I mean. of Christ 16 years. I've You're been a having... lioness. To be honest with you, I, 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 I cannot say enough how much I respect uh, you, that you are not scared. I oh. really, God, you know, Jesus, Jesus, you know, uh, make sure to stay safe, you know, watch out with privacy stuff, you know, but yeah. uh, stay safe and yeah. do what you do. And, you know, for me, people like yeah. you, we have another yeah. sister, her name is Hatun, also ex-Muslim, right? Uh, yeah, she's yes. she lives in uh, in England. She's not yeah. scared. For me, such people, to be honest with you, our dear sister Hatun, she is a lioness too. People like yeah. you, uh, you know, yeah, words so cannot describe. Brave, right. she's so brave. Uh, I love uh, her so much. Uh, she's the, she's doing amazing things. Uh, she's just uh, going out there. But uh, you know, we uh, do so, to the social media. We go uh, out there. But the Somalis, even the community in in my neighborhood, in the city I live, they uh, know me and my husband. You know, they disown us. They don't yeah. even call us when they have a, and you know, the Somali community celebration or something. Yeah. They totally said, you are not Somali anymore. Can you believe people yeah. rejecting you because you are follower of Christ? Can you believe people rejecting you? And even the nation, whole nation, your nation w- rejecting you because of you don't follow what they follow. It seems yeah. like you are, uh, you have to be hostage to them under yeah. their power and yeah. brainwash you. And if you say, no, I don't want this, you know, I wish sometimes I knew Islam, what, what real Islam is many yeah. years ago before I even get safe. But mm-hmm. I think it, mm-hmm. it, 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 sometimes I say, I wish I, <laughs> I've been like saved many, many years because uh, I lost so many, many years uh, just following blindly yeah. and praying every day uh, and in like an Islamic way. Yeah. Like a surah, uh, you know what it says, uh, Abu Lahab. Yeah, Abu you know Lahab, yeah. yeah Abu the Lahab, uncle of Muhammad. Read, yeah. When I read in Somali yeah. language series, I was shocked. Like <laughs> it's just cursing, cursing a man yeah. five times per day. Yeah. That yeah, was my that's, prayer. By the way, do you know that that's not his real name? Abu Lahab means the one who is in the fire, right? The one who is yes. burning. So it's yes. not even his real name. They gave him this nickname. But this guy yes. had a, a real name that was the real uncle of Muhammad, right? And because he knew Muhammad is a scam, he's a liar, his own uncle knew, he did not accept him. So Muhammad, you know, and his Sahaba, they were insulting him and mocking him and they called him Abu Lahab, the one who was in hellfire, who was burning. So they called him Abu Lahab, yeah. Wow, so the yeah. name is not real name. No, it's not, it's his not real name. No, no. My goodness, they gave I didn't him, even know that. They gave, yeah, it's an insult. This is why they call him Abu Lahab, the one who's burning. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know. I didn't know. I did not know well, that. But I have. No, you know. Now you know. When, <laughs> you know what, I'm, I'm, uh, brother yeah. Rob. Yeah. When I read that in Somali language, I was shocked because I was saying, how could someone go in front of Almighty God, like if it's Allah, if it's God? Now yeah. I don't believe He's is God. He's but Satan. on that time, yeah, you know, yeah. going in front of Allah and mm. and just cursing someone. Yeah. I'm thinking you you have done good deed today. I pray five times, mas- mashallah, mashallah. <laughs> but my yeah. prayer was just cursing a yeah. man and woman who die like a, yeah. how many, how many? But well, sister, let me tell ago. you something. There's yeah. there's a Sahih Hadith. Muhammad, yeah. when he used to wake up, listen. Yeah. When Muhammad used to wake up in the morning, 
Yeah. So he, first thing he was doing was uh, praying to Allah and say, Allah, please curse this, this, and this. So Muhammad, his praying was cursing. Muhammad wow. did it. Muhammad did that. Yeah, I can show you the hadith. Muhammad, when wow. he wake up in the morning, in the fajr, he said, may Allah curse such and such and such person. So Muhammad did it. So what about the Sahaba? What about the Muslims? So it's no more. They just they just following the same yeah, thing. Exactly, did. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I didn't, I did not know. But I think, brother Rob, many yeah. Muslims they don't know those things you're talking about now. Yeah, they don't. Know. And especially if they don't speak Arabic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they just following blindly. Yeah. It's but like it's that. so honored to be with you here. Thank are you, you are you related with Christian Prince? Because you, I thought you are his. Yeah, brother I am. Also. I am actually. He's my brother from another mother. <laughs> <laughs> we all brothers and sisters. I'm okay. also your sister, isn't it? Yeah, for sure, for sure. You are. You are. You, are, yeah. you, you just became a dear sister in Christ, sister. May God Thank bless you. you so May God bless much. your husband. God bless your ministry, and hopefully Thank your family one day when your family will become all Christian, sister. Thank really you so, so much. We'll pray. I, I still pray, we'll pray for, for my you. family. I did not see 16 years. They disowned me. They even here mm. in Europe. We are even some of them in the UK. But mm. I, I love them. I pray. I'm still praying for them. But we'll also there's the truth yeah. in the Bible because yeah. Jesus said, anyone who left his country or his family for the yeah. sake of me, I yeah. give them hundred folder. You know, he gave it to us. Beautiful yeah. church, like our church is uh, like a. I think around 3,000, 4,000 people, and they are so lovely, so kind, and they welcome us, and mm. they just become like mother and father for us, and, and sister for us, and they love us, and they always, 16 years, one mm. church, the first church I went, we stay the same church, and get baptized there, uh, remarried again as a Christian, because my husband and I, we were Muslim when we get mar married first, and mm. after that, we married again as a Christian. Yeah? yeah, and after that, study with the theology and leadership, and now uh, doing the ministry of God. But my God bless you, He gave it to us. Uh, even now, when I come to you, chat or David's chat or other chats, mm. we always feel like uh, welcome, you know. We always feel like we have our brothers and sisters everywhere. Mm. Thank you for yeah. calling, sister. God bless you. And God bless uh, it you was too. an amazing call. Keep calling us if you like. Your uh, dear sister you. of ours now. Thank you. And, uh, you have, God bless you. You have my Skype as well. If you want, yeah. you can you can call sure, us. And uh, sure. my God bless you and and your ministry. Thank you. Keep doing what you're doing. The Lord is with you. No one can harm you. Thank Jesus you. Jesus is the Lord. You too, for sure. Amen. We'll, we'll keep you in, in, in our prayers listening. too. Thank God you. bless you all. And and especially, I want to say hi to the brothers and sisters here. Especially you 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 admins. Thank you. Uh, Deb. Thank you. Deb and all and also Fred my my good friend Fred. yeah all of god them all you. of them thank you bye bye go all thank of them all of yeah, them man, I, man. Love you. I love you i love you too god bless you bye 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 so, bye, 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 bye bye brother go in peace with the christ bye bye wow <laughs> no words guys i have no words you know this sister when you know she reminded me actually i want to share something with you guys she just reminded me of something just a second let me show you what i want to say watch Watch guys, just a second, the SK, just a second. I want to show you this guys. This is, guys, these people used to be Sunni Muslims in Syria. They all became Christians. They left Islam, opened a church. Look, these are all Sunni ex-Muslims. Wow, in Kobani, Aleppo, Syria. All became Christians. Look at this. Look at this. Hundreds of people became Christians and in, 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 in immediately. Look. Guys, those are Sunni ex-Muslims. They became Christians. Look. Okay, this she's saying she's from Kafar Jannah, a place in Syria, right? And she became uh, Christian. She's. I think she's one of the maybe leaders of this community. From Afrin. Uh, her parents are from Kafar They were in, in, uh, She says before, even before the war, before the civil war, you know, this country that has been torn because of the civil war, Syria. 
كانت مسلمة شي وزا مسلم صار معي اختبار بحياتي بعرفت عن المسيح She became a Christian. She learned about Jesus. Her whole life was changed. She went to Cuba. They left to Cuba. People got tired of the civil war. And they started this church called the the. the The Church of the Brothers, right? The Church of the Brothers. She's asking the Lord to open their eyes, right? And they'll become Christians. Thanks to the Lord, she says. Look, Brother Sheet, guys. He went to help them. Look. I know him, right? The biggest favor to Christianity than they think. Mm. Um, exactly. This came like a week ago from recording testimonies with Kurds. And there are huge numbers among Kurds. Do, do you remember Kobani? Mm, Kobani, yeah. Co yeah, B B Syria. Yeah. Kobani Syria, is yeah, Syria. one of the most radical cities that belongs to Kurds, like uh, Kurds usually they are not very radical, but Kobani was the most radical place in the Kurdish um, uh, population, with the Kurdish population. Yeah. Um, ISIS surrounded that place, I'm um, just to give you an example, they surrounded that place for months I think, it was on the news all the time, and they destroyed the whole city almost, and the, yeah. the, the Kurdish ladies they were defending that, that town. Uh, that that place now Kobani has a church in it yeah. amazing it man. wouldn't happen even in our dreams without that wow. yeah. thing happening amazing there. and I have known families that came to the Lord from Kobani I wow. just met a family of 14 people they came to the Lord all of them together from that city mm -hmm. and uh, when I asked the Kurds I said what made you change they said what isis did opened our eyes yeah. because of isis they so, saw uh, this when, is true islam evil of islam islam in action yeah real because islam islam in, in theory is different than islam in action when <laughs> exactly you see it, i mean it, it is something when you read kill the infidels uh, it will be a sentence yeah. but when you see it on the ground when you see blood and applied before your eyes you change your attitude so Muslims, Muslims, when you watch this video, how can you stay in this evil cult called Islam? When you see the beauty of Christianity, the beauty of Jesus, how Jesus can change people. In one day you can change, you can become a new person. Look at these beautiful ex-Muslims who became Christians. Before they were evil and now they are all in peace of Christ. They receive the peace of Christ. They are totally changed people. If they can change, you can change, Muslims. Wake up. Wake up. God changed the Kurds through that. And I know that happened with the Syrians, with, with the Iraqis yeah. and different wow. places. Um, oh. And so I think the Lord, even if Saudi Arabia is changing, Iran is changing, United States is, is changing, I think the Lord is still using all the circumstances to bring people to faith. And it's still growing like this. And I think it will never stall. Yeah, it's still, it's actually. Islam is dying, man. Here's Islam is dying, man. When, when we started uh, the show, we had the first episode around 700, 800 phone calls. And we were using satellite. We, we were not using social media back then. Exactly. I mm. stopped the satellite. The last episode I did, we got a thousand phone calls just from Facebook. Wow. My biggest, uh, the biggest fan country is Algeria that follows me on, uh, not million Algerians are following me on. Uh, Half Facebook. million Algerians. The second is. All Morocco. people were Muslims, That's now they Morocco. are all Christians. And the third one is Egypt, the fourth is Iraq. Wow. So four countries, and if you take into consideration each country, Egypt is like almost 100 million. Abdul, Abdul Hafiz, it's fake, huh? Dive, brother, dive video. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Keep doing damage control, brother. Keep doing damage control, brother. Uh, Abdul Hafiz, yeah, Abdul, ha Abdul Hafiz, do you have Skype? I challenge you right here, right now for a debate. Do you accept? Abdul Hafiz.
Ya Abdul Hafiz speaking from Kif, Hira, Hira. Are you man enough to step up and debate me right here, right now? I challenge you. Or are you going to say, meow, meow? My Skype ID is the Rob Christian. Call me, Abdul. Call me. Call me. Yalla, yalla, yalla. Farjini ardak tafak, yalla. Yalla, yalla, ya akhi, yalla, yalla. Where do you want to go with your taqiyya, brother? Where, 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 where do you want to go? Yeah, where, where? Yalla, 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 yalla. <laughs> Die video, brother. Uh, Abdul, uh, brother Rashid was, it was the son of an imam from Morocco. He's the son of an imam. He left Islam and became a Christian. And now one of the best apologists. <laughs> Do damage, keep Algeria's doing damage point. control, brother. Abdul Hafiz, like yeah. Idiot, You're idiot. 36 so so you you take these countries are are the arab world actually but we oh, look guys allah akbar that's i know this is the only thing you have brother allah allah is bigger than who brother you say allah akbar like an idiot donkey allah is bigger than who allah akbar means allah is bigger right that's what it means allah is bigger bigger than who idiot yalla yalla answer my question since you are a coward, you then don't dare to call me live on air. Who is Allah bigger than who? Bigger than an ant? Yeah, exactly. Bigger than a donkey? Bigger than who? Allah Akbar. Why didn't Allah say Allah is big? Why did he say Allah is bigger? Bigger than who? That means we have many Allahs. We have many gods in Islam, right? Allah Akbar. Guys, I'm becoming really tired. But let me take a... <clears throat> Hello? Rob. Hello, you're live on air. Go ahead, my friend. Hi, you know, like, so you were saying uh, they say Allah Akbar, right? Yeah. Um, I just want to say, you know, like the claim that they say Mahmadin is Muhammad in the Bible. Yeah. <laughs> so like in Hebrew, Akbar is means a mouse. So <laughs> when they say Allah, Akbar, yeah. they're saying Allah is just a mouse, you know? Allah is a mouse, yeah. Yeah, and this is just, you know, <laughs> ridiculous religion. Yeah. Um, yeah, but, I, but, but the funny thing is, Allahu Akbar, my friend, I'm an Arab. I know yeah. what it means. It means Allah is bigger. Then the following question, if we are Christians, we use our brains, we should ask them, bigger than who? You say yeah, Allah is bigger. Bigger than who? Allah is praying. Allah is praying to who? <laughs> Allah is sallih. Allah is praying to who? Yeah, Allah is bigger than who? You see, you see this? You see this shish kebab religion, my friend? Do you see yeah. this disaster? Absolutely. I mean, I used to be one of them. Oh, um, you're an ex-Muslim, my friend. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I, I left Islam in uh, wow. 2000 and wow. 2016, 15. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, my friend. Hallelujah. Yeah, and um, I live in uh, England, UK. Are you a Christian now, my friend? No, no. Um, oh, okay. My mother is Jewish and my father is a Muslim, so I was born and raised as a Muslim. Okay. But I have, um, in a sense, reverted back to Judaism. Okay, okay. Why are, you, why, are, why are you a Jew? Why are you not a Christian, my friend? Well, because in Judaism, if your mother is Jewish, um, uh, yeah. the belief is you are born as a Jew. So, But, you know, I don't have any hostility or anything against Christians. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, as long as they're not anti-Semitic, you know, no, I'm no, no. <laughs> Have you ever seen a Christian who hates Jews? <laughs> no way. Uh, uh, it's no, it's okay, mostly from know. Islam, you know. Yeah. It's, I mean, this their religion is psychotic. It's crazy yeah. how they allow to beat women no. and all these crazy mm -hmm. rules that they have. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I thank, I thank the Lord. I thank God that I learned the truth about this religion from people like you and um, you know, Christian Prince, I actually left Islam live on uh, Christian Prince's channel. Um, My friend, uh, just, a, just a second. Th thank you for all of that. But you say you you became a, a Jew, right? Because your yeah. mother was a Jew, right? But yeah, wait a correct. second. If we, if we go, if we go uh, to the Shema in the Old Testament, yeah. the Shema Israel, right? It does yeah. say in the end, doesn't say Echad. Yeah, it says Shema Israel Adonai Eloheinu. Adonai yeah. Echad. Yeah, okay. you're right. Yeah. What does what does Echad mean? Echad means like together, like it means like unity. It means ah, wait, guys, you heard the uh, the gentleman. Uh, thank you for your honesty. It means unity, unity, yeah. unity of one, right? Unified one. Unified. So we have Lord, Lord, Lord mm. is one unified. That explains, my friend, the Trinity, the Triune God, the Father the Son yeah. 
and the Holy Spirit are Echad, unified one. Not Yichad, but Echad. Echad, right? yeah. Echad. yeah right. So, my friend, why are you not a Christian? I mean, for us, we believe, our is not Mashiach for us. We believe in Mashiach <laughs> because, you know, like uh, there were certain things he was supposed to have done, yeah. you know, to become um, our Mashiach, which was not fulfilled. Yeah. Um, rebuilding the temple, so on and so forth. But you know, I absolutely have no problem with Christians at all. You know, no, my friend, I understand, but yeah, I, um, I respect all that. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, but uh, what about the echad? You didn't answer my question. Yeah. So, in the sense of unity, it, like it means he's united, right? So I can understand how you can uh, explain the trinity from that yeah but, but what for, does it mean according to you you, you as a, a yeah. jew what does yeah. echad then mean if if we can see lord 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 yeah is echad what does that mean um i would from my perspective i would see it as he is like uh he's whole like because it can be also translated as whole like you know, like when no, 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 no. It come means together, you, 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 no, my friend, come on. It means unified. Yeah. Yachid. You have two words for one, guys. You have. Let me put it also in the live chat. You have Yachid, which is the numerical yeah. one. All right, yeah. numerical one, like one, two, three. Right. Yeah. But we here, right here, it's yeah. the echad is used. Echad means unified one. Unified yeah. means mean one, two, could be two, could be three, could be four, as one, right? Yeah. But here it's, it says, Lord, Lord, Lord. The yeah. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are Echad, not Yachid. So that yeah. ex actually explains when God said in the book of Genesis, let us create mankind in our image. Who? Yeah. Our image. image. So here yeah. again, the Trinity is perfectly um, explained. Could I ask you a question? You know, in Arabic, mm -hmm. what does uh, Akhad mean? You know, when they say, Kullu Allah. It's, it's Muhammad Akhad. stole it. Muhammad stole from Akhad. So, so did he change the meaning of the word? Or? No, he, do, he <laughs> failed. He failed to change because, let's, let me, yeah. can you see the screen, my friend? Can you see the screen? Uh, hold on one second. I'll just. Okay. It's the uh, same word. He stole it from the Hebrew. Let me prove it. Yeah. Chapter 112. Yeah, the screen, yeah. Yeah. Chapter 112, قُلْ Say, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ Okay, fine. If we translate it, it means say, Allah is one of. One yeah. of what? One of what? Ikhad, unity. One of what, my friend? Allah bit his tongue. Allah bit his tongue. He cut a piece yeah. of his tongue and he did not finish the sentence. <laughs> finish the sentence, man. One of what? So yeah, for, the, for, the, for, for them, it makes no sense to say uh, Allah is Echad because uh, <laughs> how is he together? And mm. also, you know, in the Quran, when he says, um, if we were to take a partner, we would have took it from ourselves. Mm. Um, that also does not make sense. It would mean that there is um, God is uh, in parts rather than uh, just one. Because Yeah. It's mean, it means right. unified, right? So, so Muhammad, yeah. Muhammad's Allah. When, you, yeah. when you're going to steal Hebrew words and you want to yeah. put it in the Quran, you're going to get busted. And Muhammad exactly busted himself. Yeah. He did, yeah. Yeah, so there you go. Oh, yeah. So my I friend, know, you, need, you need, my friend, if, you, if yeah. you really care about the truth, I ask you a question. Yeah. Do some research and yeah. I'm sure you seem like a very humble guy. You seem yeah. like a very respectful and honest guy. I yeah. gave you two examples. Go to the book yeah. of Genesis. God mm -hmm. clearly says, let us create mankind in our image and we have the yeah. shema which is the most beautiful most mm -hmm. beautiful verse that the jews till today use shema uh, israel lord yeah. lord lord is a god unified one not yachid if god yeah. you know god our god our holy god of abraham isaac and jacob is a mm -hmm. perfect god our god <laughs> cannot make mistakes right he yeah. clearly showed everybody that he is a god a god means unified unified one, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are Echad. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So my friend, I, I, I ask you, I invite you to become a Christian like me. I know Rome was not built in one day, but think about yeah. it. And I would love, when you call me next time, I would yeah. love to pray with you so you can accept Jesus Christ 
Okay, so I'll, I, will, I will do more research, like you said, mm. and um, look into this matter. And, you know, and if it's true and correct, then I would accept that, absolutely. Mm. Um, mm. I just also want to say, because I live in a really, you know, heavily Muslim populated community, mm. um, it's so dangerous for me because I wear my kippah. So when I uh, leave my house, don't I can't say, put my Don't kippah. say where you are, please. You know, yeah. you never know who's listening, okay? so Yeah, yeah. because... Um, uh, so, you know, if they did see me wearing the kippah, I would be attacked on sight because mm-hmm. the UK nowadays is so full of Muslims and mm-hmm. even, you know, re- English people, white people yeah. uh, who have, you know, f- uh, been misguided and, you know, mm-hmm. changed by these evil, you know, it, only in the Muslim heavily populated areas, you know, like, uh, mm-hmm. for instance, London, uh, Birmingham, Manchester, um, you mm-hmm. know, people are really in danger in these places. They have... Uh, child mm-hmm. grooming gangs they do they sell drugs this is how they make their wealth and know. you know for me I know, bro, I, this, I know this, about uh, all of that I know have you yeah. ever heard my friend have you ever heard of One for Israel have you ever heard of that uh, no no I haven't heard of that no okay uh, do you know that now at this very moment there is a huge huge community started in Israel mm. they were all Jews they all became yeah. Christians have you heard of mm. them my friend, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to find it. I'm going to play it. So go back to yeah. the live chat, my friend. I'm going to yeah. play that video, and you'll see. <laughs> if 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 pure mm. Jews, Jews, son of Jews, can become Christians, and they see, they have the evidence that Jesus Christ is the Messiah and He's the Son of God. What about yeah. what about any Jew in the world, right? So, my friend, thank you for calling. I'm, I'm gonna try to find no. the video and watch the video together with us. All right. Uh, Okay, thank you. God bless you. God bless you, my friend. Thank you for calling. Okay. Let me see if I can find the video, guys. Uh, let's see. It was a very, very small video. I hope I can find it. Just a second uh, for the one who's calling. Just a second. All right. Just a second. Uh, uh, Where is that video? They have so many videos, but let's see if this is the one. Yeah, I think this is the one, guys. They are Jews. They are living in Israel, right? Jews from Israel. Look, let me give you the link, guys. Just a second. Let me give you the link to the people in the and we'll play the video. Those are Jews. Shalom. I'm Eris Soref. I subscribe to them. One for Israel ministry. And I want to give you just a glimpse into what God is doing in Israel and how he's working through our ministry. Our college and seminary was established in 1990 with the vision of training ministers for the rapidly growing Jewish and Arab churches in Israel. Israel. We are, in fact, the only accredited Hebrew-speaking seminary in the world. And today, many Jewish and Arab believers come from all over Israel to study Bible, theology, counseling, and practical ministry. Please come back home And from our programs, thousands of graduates are working in Arab and Jewish ministries all over Israel, spreading the light of the gospel. Training up ministers and Bible teachers in Israel is a crucial work as we are experiencing an unprecedented awakening here in Israel through our media outreach programs. The gospel videos and testimonies have reached over 90 million views globally. And in Israel alone, over 27 million views on YouTube and Facebook. Israel is a startup nation and our people spend more time online and on their phones than almost any other country in the world. The street ministry today is not in local square, but online and with social media platforms, our team is having incredible engagement with over four views per Israeli of our online outreach in Hebrew. One of the most powerful aspects of our media outreach is the fact that we're also a Bible college. So we have the best theological minds developing I mean, these guys know the Torah inside out, man. The they know. And spiritual growth. 
our Facebook they communities can and website platforms are not just a and great destination English. for Jewish seekers, but an enriching resource for the Messianic community in Israel. Mm -hmm. And from Israel, we are reaching the world with resources in English like imetmessiah.com. And we've had our videos translated into Russian and many other wow. foreign languages. And being one for Israel, we have a powerful unity with our Arab brothers and sisters as well. Our Bible College is training and encouraging the Arab church here in Israel. Wow. And our Arabic outreach Israel, team guys, is producing is powerful films and daily responding to seekers from all over Israel, Egypt, and the entire Middle East. Also, with Agape FM, we are the only Messianic radio station in Israel, delivering powerful worship and encouragement in Hebrew 24-7. We've also launched an exciting program to disciple the believers serving in the Israeli Defense Forces, providing teaching and conferences to strengthen their faith and encourage them as they serve our country. Our local outreach also blesses Holocaust survivors One for and provides for mothers at risk with our pro-life no and humanitarian aid, aid from programs. The Israelis guys. We've they seen get so much amazing hate. progress no in the last 30 years of ministry, but I'm convinced that the work that God has begun in this day is going to be unlike any others. Hallelujah. And we need your prayers and support to see it through. Amen. So join us hand in hand and become one for Israel. Beautiful. And actually, they have a lot of videos. They have, you know, I, I was looking for another video that I wanted to find for you, but I, 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 I'm, I'm getting overwhelmed how many videos they have. There was really a very powerful one. Uh, anyway, you can, you know, I gave you the link, guys. Maybe if the admins want to put it again. You can go and watch those videos. It's amazing what these people have achieved in the heart of Israel. Wow, beautiful. Uh, guys, I'm really uh, tired. I would love to stay much longer with you guys, but I'm really tired. You know, we are doing many live shows huh, lately, a lot of live shows. Today, guys, we prove to you that Allah needs to go back to school, right? Allah needs go to go back to school because his Arabic really is sucky sucky five dollar. You know, he cannot change, you know, he needs to change his mind every second. He doesn't know how to write the same word over and over, you know. And when he's going to do that, he's going to get busted. And Muslims like Al-Hajjaj need to do guesswork. Should, we, should I put a dot there? Should I don't do a, put a dot there? You know, guesswork, man. You know, if you put a dot there, it becomes something else. It becomes, you know, you know instead of mercy, it can become, a, you know, you are your stonings. Should I take this call, guys? Let's see who's calling. Last call, guys. I'm really tired, but let's... Hello? 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 Hey, how are you, brother? Hey, hello. Hello, my friend. Go ahead. Uh, I just was watching your video. Yeah. God bless you. God bless you too, my friend. I was friend. watching Go your video. Yeah. And actually, I gave it for an accent. I have time. Sorry, your yeah, yeah, your, your, yeah, your, yeah your, your connection is yeah. Try again, my friend. Yeah. So yeah. I'm uh, so I'm sorry for my accent. I have a kind of heavy accent. No, no, your accent is perfect. Go ahead. So I just wanted to uh, comment on the on the Surah Al Ikhlas, Surah yeah. one one twelve. Yeah. If you go to Tafsir Ibn Kathir, yeah, you may see that. That this word, "Qul uh, yeah. uh, it's it's wrong in Arabic because you can't <laughs> yeah. uh, you can't have you know, really you can't have ahad like you can't have ahad nakira in jum fi jumla muthbata you can't yeah. have ahad exactly yeah. al yeah. in a in a in a affirmed uh, in a affirmed how we go, I don't know how to say that in English <laughs> you may yeah, not yeah, say yeah. that yeah correct yeah <laughs> yeah. 
And another thing for yeah, my friend, about just, the, just you know, it may, it may be too hard for the people who are listening who do not know Arabic. Yeah. But if you if you read it like this, قل هو الله أحد, it seems mm-hmm. as if Allah bit his tongue, and he didn't finish the yeah. sentence, right? Because what, what, <laughs> I'm you're you it seems you're an Arabic, right? You're an Arabic speaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. an Arabic. I'm an Arabi. I'm an Arabi, right? نحن نتكلم العربية. نحن نتكلم العربية, right? قل هو الله أحد. It's empty. Why? What is Allah trying to say? Say, He, Allah, is Ahad. Ahad what? of what? One of what? Yeah, one, one of. One of, uh, <laughs> one of uh, donkeys? Is yeah. Allah one of the donkeys? Is exactly. Allah yeah. one of the kids? Yeah. Uh, Allah, what is? what are you trying to say? Finish the sentence, man. Yeah, they can, they can, because yeah. it's it's not an Arabic word. And yeah, the it's whole not, surah. Yeah. It's Ikhad. Have, Muhammad stole yeah. it from Ikhad, right? Yeah, and this is this is the most important surah for Tawheed dogma, yeah. Tawheed doctrine, and yeah. they don't know what it means. Neither yeah. Ahad, neither As Samad. Both yeah, of them. Yeah, but about As Samad, my friend, Is Samad yeah, Arabic I word. Let you're no. Arab, into Arabi, and Arabi. What is yeah, Samad? What is Samad? It's coming from Hebrew. It's yeah. it's, uh, it's a team. Smel- it's a couple, right? It's a couple. It's a team. Yeah. Yeah. Unity. Yeah, you're not unifying. Yeah. yeah. So exactly. the the Tafsir guys, you have no idea. People are watching. Yep. This word that is highlighted as Samad, Allahu Samad, they have tons and tons and tons of commentaries, tafsir for it. They don't know what it means. This scholar says yep. this, the other scholar says no, it means something else. So yep. everything in the translation is different. It, they yeah, they it, don't know what it means. It's in Arabic, yeah. Yeah. There is an Arabic uh, word which is Samada, which is... Uh, when you put bandage about, uh, around something, but yeah. it's not this word. It's, it's what, it can also it mean. mean yeah. say, I've seen a tafsir. Yeah. I can't you not, my friend. Is. Yeah, I've seen a tafsir. Yeah. You know what one of the tafsir says about this word because it's not Arab word, it's Hebrew word. Yeah, it, it, they say it means uh, uh, not hollow, it, solid, solid, like a or, statue. Yeah, or the empty. Yeah, or the one who doesn't yeah, have a stomach. Idle, <laughs> idle. Yeah, it's idle. Uh, yeah, it's you know, it's solid. The word, this word, according to tafsir, means it's solid, like a statue. A, an an yeah. idol, right? From stone. Can you imagine? This is not my tafsir. This is Islam t- Islamic tafsir, right, guys? So but the problem Muslims no one need is, to guess like yeah, Al-Hajjaj. Yeah. 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 Have you heard of Al-Hajjaj, my friend? Of uh, yeah, Al-Hajjaj. He, he was no, also stop. doing guess, guessing work like his prophet. Should I put a dot there? Yeah. Should I put a dot somewhere, somewhere else here? Maybe here? Maybe without a dot? Quran is a guesswork. It's assuming. It's okay. Let me put. Uh, let me wipe this dot away. So it maybe it becomes rahmata or maybe rajamta. You know, you're stoning. Stoning. Rahmata. rahmata. Yeah. It's, it's wrong in writing the Arabic. Either yeah. the one who is writing that yeah. Aaron isn't Arab, or yeah. he's uh, or he doesn't know Arabic. My friend, he, you, here you have the word h, right? Uh, sorry, the letter h, right? Yeah. If you put a or dot underneath, ha- what what it becomes? Yeah. It becomes Rajamta. Rajamta. Yeah. What is Rajamta? Oh, oh, oh. My friend, you're an Arab. What stone is Rajamta? Someone. You stole <laughs> someone. <Yeah. laughs> or, if you, or if you put the dot over the Ra, yeah. it became Zahamta. You pushed him. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's, it's silly. Again, what, I, is, I, what is Rajamta, my friend? What is Rajamta? Stoned. You stoned him. See, see, guys, Rajamta is not lying. Rod, yeah. Rob Pisha did not lie to you. Here we have another, another Arabic speaker. He, yeah, he's confirming. Yeah. Exactly. It's, 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 in the, it's in the dictionary. You, you, yeah. you can't lie. It's in the dictionary like yeah. that. So, yeah. Yeah. so they can just go online, go to almaani.com or something else, yeah. Yeah. other, and then see. Yeah. And I have one more comment about the kafara. Yeah. In English, you know, the, there is the word dictate. Yeah. And from this word, you have dictator. Mm-hmm. Dictator might be the one who dictates something to write, mm-hmm. or the dictatorship. So, so if if two words have the same root, that doesn't mean it, they have the same meaning. Mm-hmm. And kafir in the Quran, it's ism fa'il, and ism fa'il, which is for the one who who uh, deliberately yakfur bi Allah, who yeah, yakfur deliberately Allah, yeah. becomes exactly. infidel. Yeah, and tab, and tab, so, so and because of that, for Allah, right? Tab, tab for Allah. Yeah. yeah, so because yeah. of that, what does that mean? Can you explain to the audience what it means when you say, go ahead, my friend. You, you, 
well, I don't know how to say it in English, but you are infidel. And when you are you are infidel, infidel you are yeah. doing that deliberately, and you and you should die because you are doing that. You yeah. are doing something. So you, as basically, God. in a nutshell, you are cursing Allah. You are insulting Allah, right? Yeah, you yeah. are insulting she, him, and she, you are refusing. You are refusing the the declaration that he gave to Katham or Muhammad. Yeah. So and because of that, what are they allowed to do when you when you are insulting Allah, basically, or well, Muhammad? Well, what the, what the, what can they do? Well, read Surah Al-Ma'idah, read Surah uh, Muhammad 3, yeah. and read Surah Al-Tawbah. Yeah. It's enough. It's sufficient. <laughs> it's yeah, more than yeah. sufficient. So they, they in, in other words, they can kill you, right? They are yeah, allowed yeah. to kill you, take you as sex yeah, slave, yeah. right? Sure. They, can, they yeah. can crucify you and cut your hand and, uh, yeah, exactly. uh, you, and legs from uh, different, from opposite direction. So it's... It's all kind of... Uh, so, of in other defense. words, it's not enough to kill you. They, have, they are allowed to torture you, cut the fingertips, yeah. your, you know, cut your fingertips, torture you. Torture. Yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. Well, God bless you, brother, and thank, thank you for you. your ministry. And Thank you for the confirmation, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> can nothing. you please you. call me more often when I do a live show? Just, you know, yeah. some Muslims will say, maybe some Christians maybe don't believe us. Allah <laughs> alam, right? <laughs> That's what they yeah. say. Yeah, so, may, <laughs> you know, we always need Arabic-speaking Christian to confirm, to show everybody, Rob Christian is not lying. Christian Prince is not lying. So, yeah. please you know, call, call me whenever you can. Call me, my friend. It's a blessing to have another speaker God like bless you. you. And Christian thank Prince, you. Sam, you, and David, you are, you are doing an awesome job. God protect and uh, thank you. bless you all and bless your family. Thank you. We are here to serve. Thank you. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless bye, you. brother. Bye bye, my friend. God bless you. Bye. Rab Amen. Bye bye. bye, bye. Rab oh. uh, thank God that I took the last call, man. <laughs> thank God. Something told me take this last call. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for our, our audience. Thank you so much. We had more than 300 people today again. Wow, amazing. God is good. Muslims, Muslims, the Jews who know the Hebrew scripture inside out are leaving, leaving their religion and they become Christians. They accept Jesus Christ. If they can, if Muslims in Somalia, they can leave Islam. If Muslims in the heart of the civil torn country Syria, those are Arab Muslims, Arabic speaking Muslims. If they can leave Islam, you can leave Islam. And today we prove to you that Allah is nothing but a fake dead idol. Muslims need to fix the Quran of Allah with their own hands, corrupting the Quran of Allah with their own hands, doing guesswork. Uh, okay, let me put the dot there. No, no, let me put the door somewhere else, man. And this is what Al Hajjaj did, man. Look, let me put the dot there. No, no, no. You know what? Let me put the dot there. It becomes an N. He under it becomes a B. Two dots there, it becomes a T. And Allahu Alam. Allah knows best what it becomes. Look how many possibilities from one. You know, the original Quran, guys. Like I said, the original Quran used to look like this. So the Al Hajjaj had to do guessing. Okay, let me put this one here. You know what? No, let me put this one there. Now let me make this bigger guys for you. So let me put two dots here. No, you know what? Let me put the B. You know, it becomes a B. Let me put the dot there. Let me put the vowel here. No, let me change it to something else. And then it becomes Quran, brother. Right? Look, can you read this? No, you cannot read it without dots. Look how many possibilities you get. It's a, nothing but a lottery game. You can, you know, it's... Much easier to win the lottery than to, than to uh, you know, decipher, decipher the Quran of Allah. Like, let me put it in a chat. You, bigger chance you can win, right, the lottery than to decipher, sorry if I'm butchering, I decipher the Quran of Allah. That's what it is, guys. You can win the lottery much easier than... Know what the the Uthmani Quran, right? Which they don't have, by the way, anymore. This is not Uthmani Quran. This I think this is the top copy, which is not Uthmani, as we explained earlier in the beginning of the live show. It's not Uthmani. It's not from the seventh century, and it's not complete. And on top of that, it has many variations. It does not agree with the Hafs Quran of today that they created in 1924. 
when they threw the old Qurans in the Nile River, right? Look, no dots. Try to read it. I, I challenge you to read it. You cannot. It's gibberish without dots. You have no idea what it says. So Al-Hajjaj, brother, yes, brother, Al-Hajjaj, this guy here that you see here, he, you know, he started to, you know, let me put a dot there. You know what? No, let me put it there. <laughs> yeah, let, you know what? Let me put a dot there. There, exactly. Okay. No, maybe there. Boop. It becomes Quran, brother. It's a maze. Exactly. It's nothing but a maze. It's much easier to win the lottery. You can become a millionaire. It's much easier for you than to decipher the Quran of Allah. And on top of that, yeah, Hafs is a liar. He's a kebab. He used to steal books, I know, borrow books and made it his own book. He didn't give the books back. He's a thief. He's a liar. All of his hadith is rejected. What did Muhammad say? Anyone who is a liar, who is lying about me, and Hafs lied about Muhammad, his prophet, in the hadith. This is why he's matruk al-hadith. They rejected his hadith because he's a liar. And Muhammad said in the hadith in Sayyid al-Bukhari, everyone who lies about me, let him take his seat in hellfire. So Hafs, according to Muhammad, is now burning in hellfire. Hafs, the guy, the Hafs, is now burning in hellfire according to Muhammad. Because he is a liar. He's a liar. Sayyid al-Bukhari, Bukhari, Imam Bukhari called him a liar. Right? The Bukhari called him a liar. Wake up, Muslims. Wake up. Today we taught Allah some Arabic lessons, guys. Brother, it is what it is, guys. Thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for being here. God bless you. God bless your families. Guys, Christians, please, for the love of God, help me to help you. Download our video. Cut parts that you need. Translate them and share them on social media. Do it. Help those pure people out, man. Don't be lazy. You can't ask me to do everything for you. I'm here to teach. Learn. Download. And do what you have to do. Alright guys. Muslims wake up. Leave Islam. Drop Muhammad like his sand of back. And come back home to Jesus. Your Lord. My Lord. Every knee will bow and proclaim. That Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. And Muhammad is nothing but a fake scam prophet. And Allah is nothing but a dead stone idol. Thank you for watching guys. And God bless.